Well, hello, everybody. Hello. Well, How are hello. we all doing? Hey, everybody. I can hear myself for some hello. reason. Sorry about you that. You can? Yeah, I fixed it. Okay. This was a very rushed setup. So. Yeah, rushed setup indeed. But, you know, we're loading into the game. Loveness versus Nico, the uh, second semi-final. Um, it will be the deciding series who goes to face Devam in the grand finals tomorrow. Yeah, I haven't watched much of both players in this tournament so far, but they've both been playing very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, um, I think Loveness wrapped up about, what, 1,300 points in the group stage and, of course, went 2-0 in these uh, quarterfinals. Nico got about 1,000, so, uh, yeah, they've both been playing very well. Oh, yeah. All right, we have about two minutes before the game start here, so uh, any predictions from uh, from you this game? Uh... No, honestly, I, I they're both great players. I have to, I, I just have to see how the game goes. Really, mm -hmm. uh, I really don't know who is going to win um, between them both. I'm just setting up a prediction here in chat for you guys as well. If you want to gamble some, you're free to do so. It'd be interesting to see uh, what the uh, chat is is on right now. Whose side they're on? Oh yeah. I mean, it's a very even matchup, right? You know, it should be yeah, the no. fucking semi-final, so looking forward to it. We are, of course, I playing mean... on some uh, winter versions of maps in the current map pool, as well as some custom maps, so always nice to see those as well. Yeah, I actually don't think I've seen winter bacage. Uh It looks interesting enough, anyway. Very bright. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so we've got some channel points coming in. Uh, let's see, a lot on the favor of uh, Loveness right now. 60% rather, versus the 40% for Nico. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's a decent bit uh, uh, on both sides. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be a fairly close battle between both players. Yeah, hopefully so. And uh, going to switch over here to the the actual game taking a look at this absolute beauty of a map capen has really i think outdone himself i'm not sure if he made the winter version of this map i assume he did but it just looks like winter <laughs> i mean it, it's you know the, it looks different yeah, yeah the the very dark uh, bushes and the shrubbery everywhere just makes this look so visually stunning in my opinion has the middle been... Oh, this is the reworked version, isn't it? Bacage oh, rework, yeah, winter version. I don't think I've seen much of Bacage rework. Um, of course, it's an, only a, it's not in the auto match, so... Mm -hmm. So this map is... I, I don't know how this map is uh, played exactly, but I'm curious to see how they play it. Oh, wait, I've got the fucking wrong... Um... Let's see here. This is the wall. We are now able to intercept and decode German One second, radio please. transmissions. Our T thirty fours have been outfitted with eighty five millimeter guns. We will Just trying to, to fix that fucking Master League logo there. It's a bit messed up for some reason. Well, in the meanwhile we already have both Love Ness and Nico locking in their their commanders. Loveness locking in armored assault while Nico is locked in mechanized assault doctrine. So he's going for those uh, assault grenadiers. Yeah. And maybe a Tiger late game. But let's start with the introductions here. We got Nico playing as the Austere faction. As you mentioned, he's already locked in his commander of choice here, the mechanized assault doctrine, which of course comes equipped with the assault grenadiers. So we see a double pioneer opening into assault grenadiers, grenadiers on this. Lovely map of Bokash Winter, the reworked version, and facing off versus Nico, we have none other than who, Nathan? Loveness, yeah. So, uh, Loveness, uh, a lot of people know who he is. A uh, very good player. He's playing the Soviets, yeah, and as I said, he's locked in the Armored Assault Tactics, which gives him the T-3485 and the uh, the vehicle repair. You know, a lot of, lot of heavy tank 
doctrines in there in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, we'll see uh, which works out for them. Yeah, so we can see the capping orders of both players here playing a bit of a slow capping, no aggression yet towards any resource nodes. Might see some going in here. We have some assault grenadiers from Nico charging towards the, the fuel node of uh, Love Nest. Yeah, and Love Nest did go tier one, so he's getting the clown car and he has got one penal out. <laughs> Also liking that Love Nest immediately after capping just like slowly starts paddle backwards towards the uh, the, uh, the the green cover there. Looks, uh, you know, it's he, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, um, he's very well uh, well aware of where the green cover is on the map and utilizing that to the shrimps. Mm -hmm. The Pinos are really not in a good spot now and sent back. Yeah, Pinos did get forced away in the center. Assault Grenadier is coming in for that cutoff as well. We do have an M3 out though, which I think just plays very well into this uh, Assault Grenadier build. Yeah, I mean, the Assault Grenadiers don't have any snares, so they can't really uh, do much against it other than try to use the SMGs to kill it. Yeah, it has already taken quite a lot of fire though from these uh, SMGs, the MP40s. Yeah, but, but with the engineers nearby, they're going to get that repaired fairly fast. Mm -hmm. Pino's now coming back up into the field. Pioneer closing in on that combat engineer in the north. Meanwhile, we have just Nico really utilizing this, uh, this, you know, blind spot behind this garrison. Very nice, you know, keeping his close range units in uh, yeah, out of line of sight. Yeah, that is such a strong position to be in. Oh yeah, just a very nice uh, ambush position there. We did have the Pioneer beating out the combat engineers in the north, so they can keep on, you know, Clapping that map, capturing it. Yeah, the uh, aggression from Nico right now has been working out for him quite well. He's uh, took out most of the uh, map and both fuel. Yeah, it seems that uh, Lavnus though is going in for a counter push here with Pioneers already very low. M3 on retreat here with the flamethrower. Yeah, I don't see. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, these. This is this is a dead squad. Got to be. With that car control there with the M3, you know, I bet yeah, those are winter good. tires on those. But with those, yeah, the Pinos there, <laughs> they're dead. So we have the... 2-2 two 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 now coming out. Oh yeah. 2-2 two 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 is cooking, but we had the cutoff there. Nico, kind of low on units here, only 3 units versus uh, Lovenest's 6th unit coming out now. Another yeah. squad of Pinos. And these Assault Grenadiers are just... they are... there's a long way home. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, definitely a lot more units in for Love Nest right now, and the map control is actually slowly coming into uh, Love Nest. Another Salt point are going capture. forced back by the Flamers in the M3. 2-2 two, two. is looking to try to save. We might see a Satchel here. Love Nest seems not to be going for one though. Just, just trying to cap the cutoffs there. Mm -hmm. We have a second to two, two as well from uh, Nico and a third assault grenadier coming out. Interesting uh, build so far from Nico. I I'm not, I'm not too quite sure what to think of it. It's intriguing, at least you know. Usually with the M3, if you can keep it alive, which you should be able to in this matchup, I think you can grab those PTRS, which is happening. PTRS bus coming in close on the two to two. First volley does go in. Oh no, this is a dead 2 2 2. Assault Grenadier is coming in as well for some damage, forcing an M3 away. He does not want to trade, it seems. 2 2 2 survives though, look at that HP. Oh wow, the uh, Assault Grenadier is scaring off the M3 because of such low life. Yeah. Here comes the second 2 2 2. two, two. Out now, yeah. Be curious to see how these 2 2 works out for Nico. Especially with all these pinos about. Yeah, charging into that small little piece of water there. Taking some damage, but the Assault Grenadier is closing in on the PTRSs. They're going to be bleeding a lot of damage, forcing this 2 to 2 away. He really wants to take out those 2 oh. twos though, it seems. Very close killing that 2 to 2 as well. Look at that HP. Those pioneers How are going to be... How did that get out? The second one gets <laughs> away from the, the pinos. Yeah. 
We're talking about Pixel Perfect here from uh, from Nico. Yeah, Pino sent back by the assault grenadiers. But the engineer up uh, north is going for the fuel. Enemy forces are securing mm -hmm. our territory. I mean, I think, uh, you know, he might as well just be capturing with the combat engineers. They're not really contributing this much anymore anyways. Yeah. Ooh. M3 eats a full burst there, oh, but no, almost gets stuck. Okay, the uh, the two two seemingly got stuck around the uh, the sandbag. Yeah, but where where are the PTRS? Is they're just leaving base now, jumping straight into that M3. Will soon be ready to go. Meanwhile, flamers in the north, getting forced away. There is going to be a two to two on the retreat path here though. Might drop a couple more models. Could be closing in yeah. with that assault grenadier in the center as well. This should get out fine though. Oh, not even another model, looks like. Oh, there we go. We, we have a fourth penal now coming out from Loveness. No uh, sign of teching as of yet. You're all going back in the favor of Nico once more. Yeah, just very uh, aggressive here. Opening from, from Nico. Yeah, super aggressive. But that's kind of what you have to do with this sort of grenadiers. The Assault Grenade is close in, take a lot of damage though, Satchel does come out, he is closing in on it though, almost takes some some damage, PTRS plinking off with the 2-2. Two two. Oh, that, that M3 is getting stuck in the bush right now. Yeah, blame Capen, Kappa. <laughs> the we do have a pack gun out for, uh, for Nico. As Pinos uh, with the PDRS is going for those two two twos. Mm -hmm. See here, there's something. Yeah, tier three is coming out, so uh, T70 could be a possibility here within the nearest minute. Yeah. We have Definitely. some cheeky S mines here on the fuel point. That, hey, just looking uh, the T70. Oh yeah. Oh, and two 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 could go down here. Yes, it does. Final volley there from the PTRSs. Already paying off quite well, I must say. And second to two to come in on in to uh, get revenge, but he has to be careful because PTRSs are deadly. Yeah, you know that, that last. I think it was last patch or was it two patch ago where they 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 essentially fixed the PTRS so that it becomes way more responsive. That patch really really made that unit so much better. Yeah, you don't want to mess with PTRSs, honestly. But they are off the field right now, so the 2-2 has a little bit of breathing room. Mm -hmm. T-72 won't be uh, out, uh, it won't be long to that cell. And another S-mine field in the north. With this Assault Grenadier build, I must say I really like this, because the Assault Grenadiers can't really get an upgrade until Battle Phase 2, right? So what you do is you, you spend all your munitions on mines instead. And you know, Loveness, he does have a sweeper, but it can't be everywhere, so... Mining, you know, two opposite sides of the map is just very smart here. Oh, Grenadiers are trying to stop them from sweeping them. <laughs> mm -hmm. We do have a T-70 here, as mentioned. Meanwhile, engagements going on across the map. M3, it's a pack shot, could go down here. Oh yeah, it's going down. Penal getting very low. Oh, maybe not. The second the pack didn't get another shot. And T7 driving the 2 to 2 pack in a bad position. Assault Grenadier is getting very low as well. Pack opens up but misses. PTRS are present as well. The entire German army has been forced back right now. Yeah, the cutoff is being captured, but, you know, Nico having that southern fuel for the majority of this game actually has quite a lot of uh, resources. Yeah, he has escalated to battle phase 2, and so he's not that far from a uh, from a panzer. Mm -hmm. I do like how Lovnest is utilizing the T-70 as well, clearing the S-mines. He did miss some, though, but 
Of course, he's not psychic. He does not know where they are. So. The enemy has driven a wedge in our lines. Two to two is ready to go once again. The enemy is taking our territory. There we go. Tier three now being built by Nico. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that Panzer four is coming out in uh, quite soon if he can keep this map control up. Yeah, and there's more S mines here. Start doing some damage to those penals. Yeah, this 2-2-2 two -two just driving straight through uh, Lovna's lines. It's not caring. There's no real AT nearby. I mean, the T-70's driving over the S-Mines down the fuel wall. Mm -hmm. Essentially just that. working as a uh, glorified sweeper. Oh, and Peter S did get another burst on the 2-2-2, two -two -two, it seems. Do have the Assault Grenadiers closing in on them, though. Let's see another one. Yes, we will. Down to 1 HP. Pack is uh, reinforcing up, the line, yeah. T-70 cannot be careful. I've been liking the usage of the Assault Grenadiers uh, so far by Nico. It's definitely not the easiest build to play around with because it's just so... Uh, like Vehicles can really be oppressive to the build. And what is this? We see an SU-76 coming out from Lovenest. I don't think I've seen this one in a tournament <laughs> format since... Since you know Barton and Captain Sprite, so that's a very exciting. Is it Austin from Nico? What is this? They, if they message each other before this match and say just no, throw all logic out, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're at least keeping it entertaining. Looking I mean, forward yeah, to this. <laughs> Oswind and SU 76. When do you ever get to see these in a tournament? <laughs> Is there a reward for who's got the weirdest build order in the tournament? Because, I mean, they're trying for it. I don't think there is such a reward uh, in this specific tournament. Um, I know it's the been in the past. Be a thing. <laughs> yeah. Osman's now out, while the SU-76 is also coming on the field. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I mean, there's no snares on the field, right? So the SU-76 isn't that bad. It will always stay mobile. Uh, it oh seems... yeah, but the, what about the Oswin, though? I, I don't really get the Oswin choice. <laughs> I mean, neither, to be honest. But we're, we're about to find out. You know, I think the Oswin is a pretty decent matchup versus T-70. Because P4 can sometimes miss and... I mean, the SU-76 is coming to make, uh, make sure that it stays away. Mm -hmm. Here we are, the Oswin. Hurting while the Soviets are just walking on S mines. They don't care. We have a satchel as well as infiltration one. grenades. Oh my lord. They are sent back though. They're mm -hmm. both doomed us. They actually so close in for a satchel here. Right now. Yes, we oh, will. Yeah. 2 to 2 is getting satcheled. Is it enough though? I mean, yes, there's some things moving on up anyway. Just in case. Yeah, but it does go down. The PTRS penals almost goes down. Another pixel there. These penals are in trouble though. There is some red cover here as well. Which is enough to finish oh, it off. That, the yeah. Assault Grenadier is just executing that unit. But we have a counter push here. Some mechanized forces. Ostwin is down to half HP. Needs, I think, three more connections. Oh no, he's turning the wrong direction. SU-76 is getting flanked by the Ostwin. Oh no, I see it. That is a dead SU-76. That is uh, painful to watch. The bush is getting it all. Plus the T-70 is diving on the pack gun, but the Ostwind is coming towards its direction. Needs to try to get out of there. There is no snare from these assault grenades. There's nothing stopping the T-70. Pack does go down, but the Ostwind's on the hunt for it. Uh -huh. We also have a second pack coming out from Nico, so he can't go through the base here, even though that would have been a viable option. It seems... Uh, he's gonna get out, though, it seems. Yeah, and Pack was, of course, recruited. Ostwind blitzing through, coming in. 40 oh, kill. Yeah, it's on the hunt. There's no AT over here, is there? No, there isn't. That is a dead no. T-70. And there you go. Ostwind proves superior in this matchup, it looks like. The RSs are gonna try to chase it, but the Ostwind's already out there. And we have a second SU-76 in the build for Lovenest. It's committed to them. Okay, 
packs in the far north. M3 has been capturing. Uh, very useful M3. Once it reaches Vet 1, you can... Or is it Vet 2? Yeah, sorry, it's Vet 2. They can start capturing. It essentially starts becoming a, a Kobold once it hits Vet 2. Uh, so you can just keep capturing the, the, the far side points on the map. And yeah, with no snares... Yeah, with no snares, there's not really anything locking it down either, you know? So just keep capturing with that. Very efficient. Yeah, I mean, the pack is hanging around the cutoff and the fuel right now, so he's going to have to be careful on that. Mm -hmm. Did they Second finish is out yes, now. Charging into the battlefield. Of course, the SU-76 has the uh, barrage, similar to... Uh, to the SIS gun, but this one is actually better because the SIS gun barrage was nerfed while this <laughs> wasn't. So they, it, I think yeah. it shoots two more shells and it has way faster reload uh, between them as well. So mine did go off almost wiping out the ass gun ideas there. Yeah. This this so entry is just bullied by the flame, but there, yeah. <laughs> they are dealing some damage though. Quite impressed by that. But here comes the Ostwin. And the pack is there to support it. That may be yeah. a dead M3, yeah, and he thinks that you yeah, there he goes. Let's see 76. Turning to support. We have a satchel in the center. Does Nico see this? Yes he does. He is replacing his peanut by the way. He's for the one that was lost earlier. Oh yeah, good uh, good observation. We also have, what is this, the IL-2 Sturmovik, which is the uh, the Loiter? Yeah, it's the Skill Planes. <laughs> oh yeah, also known as the Skill Planes. <laughs> the uh, Osrind is going to try to take them out. <laughs> Not doing that much. SU-76 getting three hits on that Ostwind, bring it down to half HP. The Peanuts are closing in on the pack guns, however. Might see a plane coming in for a burst as well. Yeah, these packs have been forced. There back. we go. Whoa. Getting his suppression on those uh, assault grenades, just leaving the base. Austin just to get about gets out with no life. But the PUTRS is a chaser. It's functioning like an AA platform right now. Oh, wow. The plane crashes on the infantry. Luckily, they changed that, how mm -hmm. that functions. We did also see a uh, an attempt here to PTRS those engineers on retreat. And it seems Lovnest has kind of stabilized, if you may call it that, but he is definitely behind here in terms of teching uh, and... Uh, yeah, yeah Nick... he's kind of delaying it right now. Yeah, I mean, if Nico goes for a Panzer IV here, I don't see this SU-76 holding the line. Sniper? Lovnest has gone for a Sniper. Ooh, interesting choice. Quite sure what its, what, what its role is supposed to be here. I it like... feels those like uh, uh, those sort of grenadiers are really oppressive. I guess maybe they want to knock them down a bit. Yeah, but it feels really slow, doesn't it, compared to because you it know. Doesn't have much in the terms of AT, and there's a Panzer IV coming out now. Exactly. So we'll we'll see he if this works PTRS out for him. And an SU-76. That's not going to be enough for P4. Panzer IV. Pack chasing down the SU-76, then just took a shot at the Ostwind. And PTRS is, is here as well to uh, to make sure there's no funny business happening with the dives. We have another, down. another SU-76 from Lovnest. He is oh, yeah. doubling down on this. He is not leaving tier 3, it seems. I mean, it's the most direct AT he has, I guess. But I don't know about this. As the Panzer IV is coming out, we also have some more S mines on the Northern VP. Pack missing a shot on the SU-76. Everything getting sent back right now by for Nico. Nico holding the Southern fuel pretty much constantly this match. It's not been great for Lovnas for that. 
and heavy tanks are now available. E4 and Austin are really hurting those penals down south. Yes, U76 biding their time, looking for an opportunity. Yes, U76 connects its first shot there. And its second. Could go down very fast here if Nico's not paying attention. Does send it back out, but he's going to need more than one SU-76. He does have the second one, of course, but... As long as he plays safe with them, you know, he has that PTRS backline if there is a dive happening. I mean, yeah, he can utilize the SU-76 to take on the packs as well. So, it's not the worst thing ever. I must say, though, the amount of bleeding that Lovenest is, uh, is, is, you know, experiencing here with these S-mines is quite... Uh, Quite extraordinary. We also see tier 4 coming out for Nico, so Tiger is now an option or a Werfer. I wouldn't, not sure why I would want a Werfer, but. Yeah, I mean. This P Tiger is definitely uh, something that you could think about going for. Penal going very low there, it seems to get away. Of course, the Assault Grenadiers aren't amazing on the, the longer ranges. Sniper now has six kills. Post playing as the White Death here on the Eastern Front. Seventh kill gained, and then those Assault Grenadiers are out of there. Mm -hmm. Very nice model here. Not a woman this time around, it looks like. Actually, a male sniper. SU-76 taking another shot at the Panzer IV. Ostwind almost ready to go. This SU-76 though, just notifying this Panzer IV completely, it yeah, seems I'm like... Yeah, I honestly don't... It's just hitting all its targets. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite, uh, quite impressed here. Also, you know, he's not really using the pack guns here. Uh, he's, he's been very he passive with those. He's near the uh, cutoff and the fuel. I, I'm not sure why. He's just a, a bit fr afraid of a push from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, his penis are taking a massive pounding by the Osmin, but the Osmin is going to get sent back by the SU-76. Yeah, I was about to say though, almost in the satchel range there for the Ostwin that just hits Vet 3. Yeah, it has he needs to deal with this Ostwin. It's, it's definitely bleeding him a lot now. Yeah. 20 kills almost on it. Those were penal kills as well, not just conscripts. Yeah, not not a sheep. And I just noticed it actually has four kills destroyed. <laughs> or four vehicles destroyed. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess it's the yeah. T70 and the SU76, and I think it killed the M3 as well. Not sure what I the guess fourth vehicle would be. Yeah. Uh... SU-76 did miss its first shot there, I believe. We don't have a mine here, though. This could be disaster for Nico. Yeah. He just needs to keep vision on that. But the SU-76 eats a volley from the pack guns that are finally in position. Missing the second volley. Out those packs do nothing to them. Second SU-76 closing in now. But Ostwind is here almost killing the combat engineer. Seems Panzer IV is going the to get away. The just gets out. We also have a cheek, sneaky demo here on the right side VP. Very much liking that. We have a broom bar coming out for Nico. Probably looking to punish these PTRSs. I mean, they can't punish enough. <laughs> Oof, the fire rate of this beast right now, though. And we have a third. As well for Loveness, so I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do with all this uh, armor coming out. SU-76 is uh, like his only only thing he can go for right now. Yeah, the third one is cooking. Could go for some T-70 action as well, just to to start winning some map. But it, it's very risky with this much AT on Nico's side at this point. 
Yeah, uh, it's not looking good for Love Nest right now. It's just very hard to to pilot this very micro uh, intensive army he has been he has been going for here with snipers and SU 76s. And the Panzer IV getting nice shots onto the infantry as well, which is bleeding them even more. Oof. Volley on the SU 76 needs one more connection. Just not seeing it. Those SU 76s are playing with those packs. Could be going for some barrages soon enough as well. Does have that munition slowly being piled up. Has to keep shooting and keep getting veterans. See Brumbardo. Just revealed. Yeah, getting satcheled right off the bat. Yeah, and the SUs are there. That's not good for the Brumbear. Needs, I think, two more connections with this HP, but the packs are here to, to stop any funny business. Sniper, yeah, way out of now. position, could be going down here. He needs to be very careful. It's a sniper, it's not gonna go down. It's not gonna die. So the Panzer IV is diving for the, the solo SU 76 in the north. We have one coming in. I every shot as well. And it's cornered. The, pa the Panzer IV is actually taking a lot of damage. And we have one pack actually going down, but Brimber is in position. These penals are about to be woken up. It misses, however. To Trying to catch all the action here in the north. The SU-76 are waiting. We see another... It's very low, and the, the SU-76 are moving on up as well. Everything is low on, on Nico's side right now. Osman's going to go down. And the Brumbar! It's way out of position. Loveness though. That goes down to <laughs> short range cis barrage or light artillery barrage, I guess. Almost taking up the assault uh, grenadiers as well. Yeah, and the panzer is just limping away with uh, a high damage. Can't do much right now. Yeah, We're already replacing the pack there. Definitely a very strong t trade from Lovenest here, and I'm just so impressed how he pilots this this type of army, you know, taking out that Ostwind and uh, decrewing the packs for merely losing a SU-76. Just, just perfect execution there, I must say. Could have been going a bit more aggressive to grab one of the other vehicles, but yeah, why risk it? Before. Oh, and we might see them blowing up here, taking out one of the models. Three packs as well uh, for Nico. Oh yeah. Not sure why he went for the third one. Uh, I guess he was expecting to lose one there in the yeah, center. Yeah, that's what but... I was thinking, uh, and then just didn't get uh, cancel it in time. Honestly, though, it's not too bad. Three pack guns will literally one hit these SU 76s. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not the worst idea ever. As the sniper keeps bleeding now at vet two with 14 kills. And there is a mine right there, actually. Ooh, and an assault grenade goes down. This is what Loveness needs. He needs to start killing off some squads yeah, here. Yeah, the so infantry then. is getting lower and lower for Nico. The Brumbar is just dealing some hurt. But here we are, the SU-76s. With their veterancy, you know, they get that extra penetration yeah. and they're just penetrating every shot oh, here. Oh, the drum bear, already in half health. But we have the triple pack gun wall coming in. Drum bear in such uh, danger right now, but they're just going to get away because the packs are going to get off the uh, SU-76s. It's been one exciting game so far. Yeah, and what is this? Yes, finally, Lovenest is taking up. We have uh, T-34 85s being a viable option here, of course, with this uh, commander choice. But yes, finally, we are seeing a further tech up. He has to ride finally, 30 yeah. minutes on the shoulders of the SC-76. You don't often see that. It is looking to like Nico is storing up for that tiger with the uh, fuel. Yeah, just trying to see if I can 
find any mines here, doesn't seem that way. I know Lovnest has been quite efficient and busy planting mines, but they are quite hard to see on this map actually. Yeah, I would struggle finding them on the type of map. There is a mine up on the north VP. I don't see it, I just know that I selected it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's by the by the crossover there in the in by the water. Oh yeah, I see it now. And P4 down to half HP. Brown Bear coming on into support. Penal oh, needs nice to Onto the penal walls, yeah. Yeah, to the face. Just looking at these two armies, you know, Lovness army is completely, almost entirely army is built of vet free units. Meanwhile, yeah. Nico, barely any veterans here at all, except for his the assault gun. He's actually working out for, uh, for Love Nest. Has, the Brumbe hasn't been able to do that much. And wait, we just saw another, or we didn't see because of my poor camera controls, but another assault gun here did go down for Nico. He's only left with one uh, single uh, assault gun now. So he has got the skirts. Mm -hmm. Supporting it with the, the pack guns as well, I do like that. Penal's coming Maybe. in for a flank though. SU-85 uh, for Lovnas. Ooh, interesting. So, it's the the big brother is uh, being called to action here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he might be uh, expecting a heavy tank coming out, which is not completely wrong. Yeah, it seems Nico might be saving here for the Tiger, which the SU-76 would probably struggle a bit versus. Yeah, it's not the worst idea to go for an SU-85, especially uh, when uh, he knows he hasn't seen a, another tank out. That being said, there is a P4 now. There's a Panzer IV being locked in for Nico. Interesting. So he's not going for the, the Tiger. Maybe he saw the, the Tiger, uh, you know, performance in the Asha series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, SU85. the worst thing there for, because he does have a lot of AT, but we'll see how, how it pays off. Yeah, I think I don't mind it. It's just, you know, he needs more units. He definitely does. Yeah, this Brumbe hasn't been able to do that much, just keeps getting pounded. It's got 13 kills though, I guess. Mm, and we see the flare being used from the sniper. Taking a look here at uh, Lovnest's POV. If we enable fog of war, you can see he has all the information he needs about Nico's forces, allowing him to... to oh, but SU-76 is in trouble! Yeah. And it goes down to some max range, even beyond max range. Pack gun barrage there, or volley rather. Oh, that's where it went down. I was trying to find it. Yeah, it's long range. Yeah, Brumbar very low here. SU-76 as well, eating a volley apparently from the pack gun. Yeah, these SU-76s have to be a little bit careful now that the packs are covering off the Brumbars. Yeah, he needs to get these penals on top of the, the, the pack guns and start decrying them because he can't really be doing this engagement. He does get one here. I already yes. take it out though, so it's just gonna get recruited. Unless he can go up and satchel. P for a huge shot there on a penal score. Oh yeah, wow. Well the SU the, the SU eighty fives now came in to take up the pack, so Yeah, this is what he needs to do. Yeah, he needs to make sure they die. And he misses. Could use the, the focus sight to get the final blow on it. Maybe uh, he's, he's a bit worried scared. Like he's backing up. Yeah. I mean, the, pack, the Panzer did come in to try and get, go for the SU-85, but he did back up in time. Yeah, so pack on recruit there once again. Quite unlucky there for Lovnest, missing that final, uh, final blow. Yeah, he hasn't been very lucky with the, uh, with the pack destroying. Because they've been missing those shots, forced him to retreat for, uh, back before he can take him out. Mm -hmm. Brumbar here up to 21 kills though. SU85 is getting some more shots in. Need to be started vetting that bad boy up as well. As the sniper, still role playing as the White Death, could get the final killer. No, that assault gun here. Right now, bro, is the Lovefest is bleeding VPs. 
But we just say he needs to hold these uh, victory points if he wants to win this. He's grabbing, or losing rather, Southern VP. Yeah. From Brad Force and Espino's back. Oh, that's gruesome. Yeah, just having a field day here. Constant firing, never really shuts up that rumor. But yeah, we see a VP trade here, so still no bleed from uh, Loveness, even though he loses to South here, but he is right, about he to recapture. He needs to hold the, uh, the, he needs to test the VPs right now. Yeah, we are about to see triple cap here, though, from Loveness, so uh, the ball is definitely in Nico's courtyard. We have a third Panzer IV in the queue, probably going for some sort of dive maneuver here. He's definitely going to be uh, going for that dive, I think. I mean, he, know, he knows he can, uh, with three Panzers, he can get around the SU-85. Uh, mm -hmm. And he just needs one one decisive win, right? He's, you know, Loveness down to 60, so if he loses map control, it's going to be very hard for Loveness to get back into it. I mean, without the SU-85, Loveness can't really do anything against those Panzer IVs. Mm -hmm. Just have a very strong force here from, uh, from Nico. Curious of what he's going to spend his uh, fuel on, though. He's got stored up for enough for everything. He has gone for the uh, the uh, 85, though, T-35. I mean, while Loveness has just been busy here, trying to get as many mines down as possible before the assault is happening. Brumbar actually drives on one. Straight back to repairs once again, but Loveness not in a position to punish. By yeah. the way, Nico has been great with his packs, keeping it covered. I must say I love this choice here from Loveness. We see a T-3485 in the build, which is going to uh, match quite well versus the Panzer Force here of Nico. And we see a crash on the p -nulls. Taking out a lot of models there, actually up to 20 oh, kills, but one. the Satchel is going in. SU-76 misses though. <laughs> the pack takes some, uh, some casualties. Where is the SU-85 on the killing blow here? It's moving on up now. Does get it. Yeah. As the penals are staying on the on the uh, pack gun. He finished it off, yeah. He needs to finish that pack off. Panzer IV going in again. I guess the satchel is on uh, cooldown. But yeah, the T-34-85 is coming in from the rear as well. The Panzer IV are going straight for the SU-85. Some wiggly oh, movement. The SU-85 is in a bad situation, yeah, but it finishes it. Yeah, and SU-76 in a perfect location here. On the rear of the Panzer IV. Meanwhile, the T-3485 is just going in deep. He is yeah. smelling that Panzer IV like a shark. But that looks to be a dead... No? Maybe? You have the SUs coming in as well for the clutch. T-34 bouncing. Does go down though. Can the SUs trade? Standing in front of a pack. Oh, those packs are not going to be good for them. And the VPs being drained for Loveness right now. In the meantime, Nico did capture both center and south, about to capture the north as well. Those packs have been a massive problem for Loveness. He hasn't been able to take them out. Every time he goes for them, he just can't finish them off. Mm -hmm. There are some mines here, so Nico has to be careful. His sweepers are, of course, busy repairing. But yeah, that's a triple cap for Nico. I mean, Lo Loveness just needs to get out there and get those those points back yeah that's all that matters right now if he's gonna win a uh, mine does wipe out a squad i think oh the, yeah. <laughs> another assault gun here yeah the sniper gets one of the models and then the mine blows them up on retreat good catch sniper's moving on up to the uh pack gun yeah 30 vps right now for loveness the sniper Oh, might see some for it. trouble. Oh, assault gun here, getting very low here. Might go down. Mm, it seems to be lucky. Seems to be fine. Yeah. Twelve VPs for Loveness. Yes, Does he have time? Moving on up though. Don't know why. Yeah, I think it's just desperation at this point. Yeah, He's possibly. Going he down. He's capturing the center, but it's not enough to stop the bleed. One VP remaining, there is no time, and that's game, boys! First game! And what a, what a game it was!
That was highly entertaining. Very, very well played to Nico, but some credit to Lovenest as well, you know. Keeping it together with an army composition like this, just... Yeah. You the, know, uh, building SU-76. SU yeah. Very a fun very to good watch. Of them. I don't think uh, everyone can uh, utilize an army like that. No, I just... mean, he did keep, uh, keep the Panzers away. I even lost them away with just the SU-76s. I think the packs were the uh, problem for Love Nest, though. He couldn't finish them off, so every time he tried to do something, they would just rip him a new one. For sure, and you also had, uh, you know, Nicker coming out with a double 2-2, two -two -two, which did really well as well, actually, before going down to the PTRSs. Just keeping his uh, his early game intact there, even though you are filled with Assault Grenadiers versus the M3, you know, it's it's quite hard to stay alive when you don't have snares on all your main lines, and you have yeah. a... The Assault Grenadier build is a very hard one to pull off. Mm -hmm. It's not easy because, as you said, the T-70 can rip you a new one if you're not um, prepared for it. Yeah. But really good game there from uh, both of these two players. We are going to check if game two is up and running. Let me, let me check in with the players. That was really inno innovative. <laughs> you think so, yeah. Ivan? I mean, yeah, I mean we, questioned, was... we questioned the SU-76 and the Austrian, but both were paid off very well for both players. Oh yeah, you know, you it's kind of hard to criticize good players like this when uh, when when they're there for a reason, you know. It's the semi-finals yeah. of uh, this tournament, and we are definitely seeing some of the, the best players duking it out here, so it's very entertaining to watch. I mean, that's not an, it wasn't uh, an everyday game there, but I, I enjoyed it personally. All right, restarting my client here, Nathan. I suggest you do the same and then we'll, yeah, I will. I we'll just wait for the, the game two to begin. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Von Ivan, you, you like skipping 2-2-2 two -two -two completely, right? And just getting that early Panzer IV, if I remember correctly, from, from analyzing your play a bit. Yeah, I just learned my game up now. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, the double two 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 was actually a quite a good choice. Um, it kept back the uh, M three from when they were up they were about, but it, they they uh, they almost went down quite a few times early on. But I, I think it was a good choice. There wasn't much AT in the in the build for Love Nurse. He was really relying on those uh, SU seventy sixes once they came out. All right, I've restarted my game. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for the game to appear here. I'll send you an invite, of course. So yeah, do you, do you remember the predictions in chat? Was it uh, in uh, Nico's favor or was it in Lovna's favor? I can't uh, quite recall. It was in Nico's. Okay. I I think maybe I'm wrong. I don't. I can't remember. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Of course, with uh, Commander Termita Terminator coming to into play here in the semifinals, we we won't see the same commanders being used again. So that means no uh, no sure. armored assault for Lemnest and no uh, no uh, what's it called uh, mechanized assault, I think for um, yeah for Nico. mechanized assault. Um, but there are some other options if he still wants to go uh, Panzer Grenadier or assault grenadiers. Uh, you got the the strategic reserves commander, for instance, which is the new one. So. Oh, uh it's not a horrid one. Uh, I've definitely seen some people choose it. Oh yeah, it comes with the the P4Js as well, you know. So quite I solid. Like, I like I do like the P4Js over the Tiger personally. Yeah, me too. But you know the the armored assault has some other things going for you. You got the assault group uh, call in, which you can use as a panic button essentially. And of yeah. course, you also have the 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 off map artillery. 
I see a lot of people uh, who go uh, assault grenadiers with the mechanized assault. They always go straight into the uh, the PU grands with the Shreks in the uh, in the uh, half track mm -hmm. uh, for their AT, uh, which can work out, can not work out. You know, it's kind of a fifty-fifty if it works out. It can uh, definitely help. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have uh, some. Um... Some bird whispering in my ear right now that they are starting game two. So game should be live in approximately five minutes, boys. So make sure you refresh your drinks. And we'll be good to go momentarily. Playing on champs. Or however you say the name. Uh, champs LEC Winter is the, the next map. One of the yeah. new custom maps made by a fella named um, Fuck, who's the creator? Do you remember? JoJ, I think? Yeah, JoJ. It says at the top left. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Observant. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you uh, look silly in your <laughs> own cast. It's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> the creator. Shout out to Devam, of course, he has already moved on to the final. So the winner of this series will be facing off against uh, Devam tomorrow. Which it's is going great to be... Up. Yeah, no matter who, who gets through. No, yeah, no no, they're, they're all great players, so I've always been waiting for a good uh, match. Mm -hmm. So it's Nico up 1-0. Let me update the scores. And let me go grab something to drink real quick. We have game two starting in four minutes, chaps. So, uh, so be with us and we'll be good to go any second. All right, with approximately two minutes to go here, we can take a look at the map. If you guys are not familiar, this is a map that's not in the in the auto match map pool, but it has seen uh, quite a lot of play recently in the past year in the tournaments uh, because it's considered one of the better custom custom maps actually, and it's also one of the few urban maps we have in this game. Yeah, um, I didn't get to see it too much in this tournament. I've seen a lot of Canal, rather. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, But I know this was a, a player favorite, let's say. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a bit sad that we never see this area that's on screen right now. We never really see much play happening here. But you can actually go down here and use this... Uh, this uh, what would you call it? This uh, coastline as a, as yeah, a flanking point, um, you can actually do that with infantry, so you can use this area, which is quite cool, I think. Yeah, I mean, asking any native English speaker what the word is, we're gonna, 
throw me on the spot there. But yeah, the, see, the, the thing with this map, uh, you have the six window garrisons on each side. Mm -hmm. uh, they see a lot of play, honestly, and they're quite strong positions. Yeah, they're, they're kind of double because you can use them as a uh, quick route, you know, to, to, yeah. to get around areas quite fast. So you can use them to, for instance, flank machine guns. If you have one in the center angle like this, you can just pop through the house and then go through here. Um, and you also can use them as uh, essentially lighthouses, right? Where you just garrison for a couple seconds and then you get a huge uh, vision radius on your opponent. Uh, no matter if you're controlling the, the south of the, the garrison or the northern part of the garrison, you can use it that way. So I, I find them quite interesting. Um, but as you do, as you say, they are very strong. Yeah, you really have to be aware of these <laughs> buildings. Okay. But here we are in game two on Champs Elise. We have, uh, as soon as the timer begins here, there we go. We have none other than Lovenest being down zero here in this uh, in this semi semi finals, playing as the Soviets once again. Seemingly no tier one start from him in this game though. We have the second combine uh, combine engineer queued up as well as a conscript. So most likely going for the the most most used opening build order here with double engineering to triple conscripts. Meanwhile, yeah. And uh, Nico here uh, once more has is playing the uh, Wehrmacht and he's locked in defensive doctrine. So uh, we're going to see some off shooting. Yeah, a, a monster from the past. Let's just call it that. But they've been quite nerfed in the most recent patches. So we'll see if this works out for him. I don't think it's super weak, but it's definitely, you know, with Grenadiers being so strong, they're, they're definitely not yeah. meta anymore. We haven't seen Oshupin in a while because of all the nerfs, but yeah, I, I don't know how strong they are these days. I know that not like the weakest ever, but yeah, as you said, Grenadiers are a lot more uh, proficient. Mm -hmm. So we have some slow capture from both players here, just grabbing your, your closest points right off the bat here. So no surprises we do see some wiring going on very interesting wire here from from lamnest actually pretty mo much making sure there's no sandbag uh, to be placed and also it you know it prepares your own sandbag if you build it here it's already pre-wired so very interesting wire from uh, from mr lamnest we got counter attack tactics for lovness for the commander choice Ooh. this one's a very interesting one yeah, uh, we do the... have the KV-1 and the uh, so... shock troops. The shock troops are going to be very strong on this map. There's lots of sight blockers. Mm -hmm. As so we have the first couple of engagements here. One conscript did get suppressed. Let's see if it can reach the door. The door? No. no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they got it. <laughs> How, how did they beat the Aust Trooper reaching that? I'm a, I'm a bit surprised I don't about know. that. <laughs> they were clearly training for that all their lives to get suppressed and run into a building. Uh -huh. We do have a cutoff taking in the south though, but of course Nico has uh, has lost his already from those conscripts. Who are yeah. now rerouting down south going for that second uh, second cutoff it looks like. We have, we have a deep flanking combat engineer in the far north going for that machine gun most likely. Last oh yeah, position. I see that. I mean he hasn't moved position so it can definitely uh, catch it off guard. Yeah, very interesting early game here, you know, you got these very fluid uh, infantry movements from both of these top of the top level players. Yeah, the MG42 has been forced out of position, so the Austrian have to come back and help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, losing one model, still not allowed to set up. Bit hard He's to sent back to base at this point. <laughs> yeah, we have a fourth uh, Austrian coming out from Nico right now. He loses another model to this flanking combat engineer. It's a rogue combat engineer, boys. It's literally rainbow. Yeah. I mean, the sent they right back to base. We have additional available. And it seems I mean, you're already that... seeing the Oshupan aren't doing that very well. I mean, Loveness already got more uh, double the kills. 
Once again, um, we see S mines here being deployed from Nico. You know, that's the advantage of not building around the deers. You don't need the munitions to get those LMGs up, but instead, you can use them for your your very strong off tier mine options, both the tellers, of course, and the S mines, as we see here. Yeah, we've seen in the last game that he really has been liking the S mine usage. Our flame is going to send back the Oz up north. <laughs> And of course, Ostruppen, they are this uh, very weak infantry squad, but once deployed in cover, they get some very extensive uh, cover bonuses. I think it's about 200% accuracy bonus. It, it was, it's now 200. I believe they nerfed it from 250, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's it's also, somewhere around there. Two being built now for Nico. Uh, not going to be, uh, we're going to see a 2-2 two two soon. Yeah, good observation there. Not in the queue yet, though. He's floating or he's missing some manpower. Of course, getting that fourth Ostruppen squad. Um, but it's going to be quite decently timed here, I think. He's uh, 25 fuel, of course, 52 is 30, so... He's gonna get off in a fairly decent time, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Meanwhile, we also have tier two being upgraded to Love Nas. Yeah. Do you reckon he's going straight for a Sis here, or he's going straight for tier three? I mean, he's not too far off for tier three, but he's not gonna be able to utilize that either way. Because, yeah, he isn't going to have the fuel to utilize it, so he's, he, he can definitely go for a assist gun. Yeah. There we go, locks in. We do have a sweeper here, essentially just, you know, spoiling two of Lovenest's mines here. That's 60 munitions down the drain for Mr. Lovenest. As uh, Nico is coming off very strong in this early game, double fuel about to be controlled. And we do have the assist gun coming out for Lovenest. He's getting the cut off though for at least one of the fuel. We have a 251 for Nico. See, Very I was, interesting. I was questioning this. So he could go for 251 because the flamer is actually really strong on this map. Yeah, and he doesn't need his munitions, right? So. Yeah. It's just win win essentially. And as you say, it's quite hard to use a uh, 80 gun on this map with all those uh, shot blockers, so you can really be, be uh, abusing the, the momentum. Of the 251 here. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad choice at all. He's already got the upgrade for the flame projectors. So, yeah, uh, I think it's definitely a good call. Mm -hmm. It's are... going to keep the uh, Love Nest on the back foot even more so. Yeah, going straight for the north, it seems. That's where he has his sweepers. I think that's a very, very sound choice. Meanwhile, Siskan is. Is going, he probably heard the 251 in the Fog of War. Has yet to be upgraded, just about to get the upgrade, but it looks to be a bit late there. Mm -hmm. the do, love the, do love the white tracks on the, the 251 here, looks very ah, the cool. Bro the, the flames though, still tearing through the conscripts. And the Ziskun didn't even get a shot off there. No, the, this statue you see is actually working as a, uh, as a both vision, a line of sight blocker and a shot blocker, so... You I have would a have thought he would have been able to get her. Oh yeah, I would have thought that the uh, Ziskin would have got a shot off still. In the meanwhile, Lovness finally manages to capture the southern uh, southern part, forcing those Ostrippen away. And we have a Shock Pooper joining the battlefield from Lovness. Oh, we it's do, going, yeah. Going to do quite well in this urban setting, I believe. They're going to dominate the uh, shot blockers, the line of sight blockers. Yeah, he's gone for a second uh, HMG now, the MG42. Mm -hmm. So very support weapon heavy build here from Nico, which is usually what you see with the Ostruppen. You need to. Ostruppen aren't the easiest to hold. They won't hold that well alone. Enemy forces capturing supply sectors. I don't think that 251 liked that building. Mm -hmm. Ostruppen closing in. This, or th this shock trooper closing in. Doing some a heavy really pain, but danger. the the machine gun is in uh, position. As the nor the second MG is going for the north. Do we have uh, no snares yet for Lovenest, So no snare possible on this 251. Siskan opens fire, but misses with a with a very small margin. He has locked in the conscript grenade now, though he has got them. 
Oh, he does? He just got them, as you said, uh. so they didn't have him. Uh, seems Nico is taking back control of the northern side. We see a grenade here. Easily Fishing spotted by Nico. Yeah, and this MG42 is going to keep back the shock troops from doing anything. Oh, huge burst there on that conscript. Ziska misses. Pioneers might go down here if the conscripts follow on. Mm, of course, not, there's always like going to see a Sis barrage there. Barrage. <laughs> That's a nice try. He just really wanted that Pioneer dead, it seemed. But yeah, looking at the opening here, I mean, the, the stats tell one story, right? But I must say this is definitely in, in Nico's favor so far. You have had the the quite dominant map control from him. He's floating a lot of resources. Yeah, we've got tier 3 being built up for Lovnas. Yeah, so T70 is an option here in about a minute's time. It's also um, the place of a mine on the fuel near the sandbags and the barbed wire. Interesting. But yeah, just very dominant here, I must say, from uh, from Nico. See what uh, what Lovnest can accomplish with this with this build, though. And the shock troops are moving on into the off troop, and the MG42 is out of position. Mm -hmm. so both of them are actually. Grenaker's onto the building. Yeah. Forced them out. And uh, Flamer instantly, you know, re regroups towards the shock troopers. He needs that Flamer shock to keep these. Shock troopers are out of there, though. They're going for the MG42 instead. Mm -hmm. Love or Nico, just soft retreating. He wants to to get that 251 into action. Is this gonna is moving on up to try and support the shock troopers, though? Mm -hmm. Very nice uh, sandbag here from Nico in the center, putting it against the yellow, so your opponent gets yellow cover while you, do, you, while you, you get green. Very nice. This gun's gonna now open fire on the half track, does take a shot. Mm -hmm. Needs a second one, but with the amount of uh, shot blockers here, it's very hard. But there's a mine! Oh, 251 goes mine. down! The they call it a mine! mine. <laughs> These mines now come into effect. Yeah, only one sweeper for Nico, so it's hard to keep track, but Battle Phase 2 is up, so we will see Tier 3 coming out here. About two minutes away from a Panzer 4. And of course, this yeah. also means the LMGs for the Ops Troop, but huge grenade there in the center. Yeah, that, that Ops Troop is almost dying. And we have a mortar. For a mortar. Yeah, very interesting pick there from Levnest. I mean, it's not the worst thing. Um, the Ops Troop are best behind cover, so he wants to try and displace them. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not too critical about it. I mean, I think it's too late for a light vehicle as well. You could go T-70 here, but, you know, if there's an Ost wind within a minute, it's not going to have that much of a window, right? Yeah, I wouldn't go for a light vehicle uh, 12 minutes late, late in. We did see last game, you know, Lovness just going very heavy on the tier 3, though. But True, but it's not looking to be the same style no, of build. Very different approach this game. I mean, he already has the AT guns, right? He doesn't need the SU-76s. Mm -hmm. They can look at the kills, and Loveness is uh, ahead in their kills. Yeah, but not by a large margin, though. I think the, the, the biggest impact so far has been the 251 going down, to be honest. Yeah, that was pretty big. That's a huge blow for Nico. Not getting a lot of value. We see a grenade in the south. Oh, he was, you know, expecting that retreat, but Nico holding firm, essentially uh, calling uh, Loveness' bluff there. These, these are shooting behind the yeah, green cover, that's behind the yellow cover. They are so annoying for Love Nest. Oh yeah, it's very hard to, to get rid of those, and he needs to get the, the Sis gun to just remove that green cover. Which the he finally cover, did. Yeah, the green cover goes down, but there's a pack 40 now for, for Nico. Ooh, I wonder what that's for. Is he expecting a T7? Why would you not pick a vehicle here? He has tier, tier 3, right? So, Panzer 4 yeah. would have been... 
Maybe he's misjudged that Loveness could get a tank out. I don't know. Yeah, he's very... got he's, he's got tier four coming out now. A uh, Loveness is, but that's still quite some time. He could have got definitely gone for the Panzer. Yeah, just some miscalculation there. Oh, he did cancel it and go for the Panzer four. So okay, yeah, we're a bit enough. too fast with the the, the criticism. We're just smoke in the <laughs> south. Just this Austrian doing so well versus the conscripts here. I love how that there's a blind spot uh, on the MG42 down south because of the boxes. So the shock just cut, cut off. No, that's. Don't think that's a blind spot. I think it was just the smoke still in play. Probably a vision. Really? Oh, yeah. maybe. Yeah. That's not supposed to be a vision blocker as far as that's I know. That's what I was confused on, but they were on the point and they weren't getting detected. Yeah, I think I think there was smoke. Okay, I didn't see the smoke on the my screen. Yeah, that's that's Co2 engine for you. <laughs> <laughs> but the mortar doing uh, what the mortar does best, forcing the off out of, out of cover. Mm -hmm. Nico sweeping mines left and right, making sure he's not bleeding too much. He didn't want to suffer from uh, another mine calamity. Mm -hmm. Actually, very nice uh, usage of the uh, of the uh, mortar here. It has a very good position there, getting control of the entire north and center essentially. Yeah, that actually is a quite nice spot. Panzer form now making itself known. Mm -hmm. But this gun is right here. Yeah, but uh, it's a tough spot for the SIS gun, you know. This, this oh, yeah, statue right. is uh, quite the shot blocker. And the Panzer four can just wiggle and keep poking, poking shots at it. Well, luckily the SIS gun got protected by the little cover there, the chunk traps. The engineers are actually in a real bad spot right now. Yeah, the shock trooper is coming in, but seems to be fine. The MG42 is coming to uh, set up uh, to support the Austrian now himself, so those shocks won't be here for much longer. Uh, he's Lovness is one it, step though. ahead, gets the smoke up, but still gets suppressed. Still suppressed. Just gets suppressed before the smoke popped. Here is a suggestion for Co3. Please give us a suppression bar so we know how, how long they will be suppressed for. That's a suggestion that, yeah. for me right here. And before though, saying hello to the shot troopers, they're not going to be on the field for much longer. I mean, this gun is a huge yeah. shot! Oh, what a shot from the Panzer IV, wiping the squad out! Getting four models there in one shot, shocks does go down. That's a huge blow. That's four, almost 400 manpower down the drain for Lovenest and important yeah. units bring down. Completely annihilated these shock troopers there. In the meantime, Lovnest not going for the T-34. He is saving up for the KV-1, which is just around the corner right now from appearing in the, the build order. And is that a demo? No, that's a MG-42. Did we see an Austrupen go down here? I think we did. We have a new built Austrupen. We missed that. Sorry. Uh, you were too busy watching the shock troops get obliterated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that's yeah, an that's option an for... Left down. Yeah. And KV-1 is now in the queue, and Lovnest, you know, seeing the efficiency of the of Nico's sandbag, builds one of his own in the center. Yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, the MG-42s are picked up. Oh, wait, never mind. Does he not know that the MG-42's been dropped? He could have just picked it up. Yeah, he probably didn't have line of sight of it. Well, he just walked past it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, he probably gave the order, so he'll, he'll, yeah, he'll notice in a second. I'm, I'm not worried. <laughs> I hope he does. Oh wait! Austrupen only has one uh, one uh, gun spot. They can't pick it up. Well, that's why I was questioning why he didn't cancel to pick it up in the first. I guess he didn't know in the first. Uh, oh yeah, it, it was queued one. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, he had about. one queued. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, here is the KV-1 finally entering the battlefield, straight from the production lines. About to give uh, Nico a bad day. I mean, it's uh, definitely a. Uh... Uh, hard uh, to kill tank. Siskan <laughs> gets a second connection on the Panzer IV, down to half HP. Yeah, almost still. connecting the game there. Jesus. Must say the dominant map control here from Nico just goes to show how well he is playing. And this KV-1 has some work to do. It gets. Penetrated straight off the bat from the pack 40 already in position. Meanwhile, conscripts in the south getting sandwiched. 
Yep. It's not been great for Loveness in terms of fuel again. Constantly have to get his own car. Yeah, Nico really on the aggression this uh, this series, it seems. Not Maybe wanting one is the game to drag on. Which may go down. Yeah. Another shot hits. Gets a very good retreat path there, though, I must say. Oh, yeah, that, that was lucky. Combat Engineer trying to finish it off. I just moved that. up to deal with the KV-1 as well as the P-4. Mm -hmm. MG does survive. KV-1 is snared by the Aus Trooper. Uh, the P-4 is coming, though. The, the Panzer IV is hunting that KV-1. Not sure what the goal would be. I don't think the, the Panzer IV would actually beat that. Yeah, he, he, he so. ended up backing up, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very nice position here though, you know, using these uh, shot blockers and uh, dealing some damage, poking every now and then. Really using the urban map to his advantage. To come out. But of course, he carries the wear and backs up. He does have does a... mine being placed? Yeah, I tell him, in the south. And meanwhile, what was that? Battle phase 3 is tagged for Nico. Could see another Brumbear this game. That is a possibility. Worst idea, I mean, lots of infantry, um, lots of infantry cover. Mm -hmm. Enemy forces are securing our territory. I'm not sure I agree with the broom here, though. You have the Stuggy as an option, and uh, you know, versus the KV one, you'd probably rather have something like a Panther, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what Nico is going for. I want to see a pack 43 in placement. Just ye out in the middle of the map and just kill the KV-1 with that. Yeah, I wouldn't be too confident that we'll see one, but you know. This is it, why it, you don't see me in grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> Among many reasons, but that's the big reason. <laughs> I use... Yeah. Well, KV-1 is making some progress in the north. Meanwhile, a large infantry assault in the center. Sis gun a bit out of position to follow up on the Panzer IV here. MG is holding the line. Flame is trying to deal with the MG, but they're going to get suppressed. Mm -hmm. KV-1 getting panned by the second pack, that's or the first pack actually, that's all. In position. These MG-42s have been really hard on Love now. Yeah, I mean he is using the mortar to some ex effect, but it's not really been... Oh, what am Mind I saying you. actually? It's yeah. It's actually not been bad at all. I mean, yeah, it's not been the worst thing. Could have been better, but not the worst ever. Yeah, some float here from Nico. What do you, what do you reckon? Is it the Panther that that is cooking here, or? Oh, well, there's no, nothing heavier. So, uh, if he goes Brumbe, he won't have anything to do with that KV one. If he goes Panther, I I think that's a fair call. The Panzer won't be able to deal with the, the KV-1 alone, but that being said, the packs kind of have a good line of sight on these lanes. Yeah. And look at the flank in the far north. That's quite extensive flank that will get immediately shut down by the Panzer IV. Quite unfortunate for Lavnus that the Panzer IV was present in the north there. Almost actually goes down. Manages to uh, get out of there though, with a sliver of health. The large concentration of force in the center from Levinus though. Yeah, um, not sure what he's playing right now. Yeah. I feel like they push could... in the mid, it looks like. Yeah, Panzer or Siskan in uh, in position. We see a snare as well. Panzer four sitting duck. We have the light, uh, sorry, sector artillery coming in in the center. Yep. Yeah. Meanwhile, should have been popped. For Mother Russia, indeed. Sis got uh, in. It's gonna go down, it looks like. Maybe yeah. not. Uh, it did go down. Instantly recruit, though, I'm assuming. It's gotta be, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah, this sector assault just stopping uh, Loveness from doing any any pushes here. Panther has been locked in for Nico. Oh, yeah, good call. Panther is the choice for Nico. Not the yeah. back, he really wants to deal with his KB1, and the Panzer IV won't be enough. Yeah, but nice attempt there from Lovness. The Nico, of course, pre being prepared with the sector assault panic click there, just stopping any any further advance uh, advance into his territory. So, very nicely done there. 
Looks like the teller went. Oh, the teller's still up. I thought the teller was sweeped. Try and look at it, see if there's any other mines. Don't look like it, though. I'm blind. Yeah, they're, they're once again quite hard to spot on these winter maps, but ooh! Could have almost eliminated that Ostrip in there yeah. if he hit the mine, so. That would have been bad for. Nico. So the Panther is just coming out now. Yeah. Meantime, we have a bunker in the north. Interesting choice there for Love Nest. There is a second uh, Siskan on the map right now, though, and a second KV1 is an option as well. This MG is actually in a terrible position. Yeah. KV1 about to pin. No. Oh, Change his target. The no, the Panther's here now. And uh, KV1, KV1 is about to get snared. KV1 doesn't have any spoiler, so the Ziska now isn't facing the, the right direction. It's covered by the, the statue. Panzer IV, though, almost goes down. Blitzing away. Ziska is now in position. Pakan did get deked by the combat engineer somehow. I'm not quite sure how that turned out. Okay, so Ziska seems to be fine. There's the, uh, sorry, the KV1 seems to be fine. The Ziska's covering it. Yeah, I don't think that's going down any anytime soon, to be honest. Uh, the pack did get decrewed, but it's going to get crewed easily enough anyway. And Sisparash here on the machine gun. Not the, the best oh. scattered, but does force it away. I was about to say, I think he locked in a, a Kadusha, but he, uh, he retracted that and went for another KV-1. Yeah, I think KV-1 is definitely the choice I, here. I agree. I think it's just not seen uh, the most efficiency so far, but... He, he, on paper, I think it's probably one of the better right? vehicles on this map. Whoa, where? Uh, in the center, I swear he just wiped out something. I don't know why, i just seen three models go bye-bye. Yeah, we have what, actually one Ostrup and is missing. Yeah, we had, we may have had another wipe. Quite sure. It looks like the Ostrup went down in the center, near the uh, mortar. Was it the uh, mortar? Also, what is the mortar doing? Oh, it's flaring. Okay, I see. So we see some flares coming in here for Lovnest. This is how we used the, the sniper last game. Gives him this vision, which is very nice. And very beautiful animation here from uh, Relic Entertainment back in 2013, making these flares. Very cool. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Relic Entertainment, of course. <laughs> AV1 is now out. Second one. But also looking at the victory points here, only 50 victory points remaining for Levnest, and he is down facing a triple cap here. So he needs he... to somehow finish this game now. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to stop this bleed to begin with. This MG42, I like Nico's MG42 has been so good on this game. Yeah, and of course the the dwarf is uh, held by that bunker, so. Time yeah. is not on Luvna's side, he needs to, to go in. Might be waiting for another Mother Russia, about uh, one minute away from clicking that. And we have the Sis guns getting a volley off in the Panther. It's not south. looking good for Luvna's Sis. No, He's he... not going to be able to capture the North or South in time at this rate. It depends here. KV1 is going in. He just needs to go in and support it with the the, the Sis guns or the something. The engineers are coming and try and get the cap, but the tanks are there. Another bunker in the south, actually. The Interesting. Sis guns are there down south too. So are the MG42 suppressing the conscript uh, engineers. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna get the captures. He just needs to pretty much redirect all his forces to the south at this point if he wants to to survive. The MG42 bunker up north has cut off the conscripts. This is not looking good. Missing killing blow on that Panzer IV that's blitzing away at max speed. But the uh, mo the bunker is gone. Nine VPs is remaining. The VP. It's kind of what he has to at this point. Literally nothing else can cap. Mm -hmm. Panther in the middle though. Could he just snare that KV1? And that seems to be what's happening. Is getting reinforcements. We see for the uh, Mother Russia being used Panzerwerfer once again. Has came out. Just to just to finish off, Panzerwerfer came out. Yeah, but the the southern is neutralized. Could just Werfer right off the bat. I mean, yeah, these discons aren't in a good position. They aren't going to get the calf. KV1 in the center though goes down. 
There's nothing to contest the point either, so they're gonna cap it very soon. Like, uh, this house VP. And maybe the Ostrip actually are gonna go get forced back by the KV. Hard to tell MG though, going down. Absolute chaos. Ostrip and about to go down as well. Lovness staying in the game with five VPs, it seems like. He robbed the MG42 up in the south side as well. Yeah, that's a stolen MG for Lovness. That's exactly uh, what he needs. Pack, pack in trouble. Pack, I'm in danger. Ch could just keep charging it. Lovness playing yeah, it safe though. He, 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 yeah. Which is fair. He's in your fine. The, the pans are worth a fire run. Yeah, but he's using Aura to dodge it. Very nice here. Very Both well players done, just yeah. playing their best, it seems. That was that was very nice. Middle is oh. being captured, but with the south captured, he's gonna have some time to get it back. MG in position though, needs to smoke that as soon as possible. As soon as uh, Levinus realizes. He's losing points though, because he hasn't got anything capped. Ooh, two VPs remaining. Oh. Manages to capture to stop the bleed. Center is still good. being captured, though. Where is that smoke? It's being deployed right now, but it's on cool. Ah, or... uh, this is over now for Love Nest. Needs to sprint in there before it's captured. If it's captured, it's game. And it's oh, captured, dude. and that's game. <laughs> Very nice attempt. Yeah, great game, too. Once again, both of these players really delivering. Uh, but game two goes to Nico as well. I have to say, those those shot troopers going down to like Panzer IV shot was not what Love Nest needed in this game. Those, yeah. those shot troopers were putting so much pressure on those uh, on those infantry, and then once they went down, it was just such a struggle. A bit uh, miss uh, or unfortunate there for Love Nest not uring it at, at the end. I think he could have made it, but you he, know, I think he could have, yeah. But you know, it's probably tunnel vision, 30 minutes into the game, you've been struggling versus triple cap pretty much the entire duration of the game, you know? So he's probably been just microing out of his mind and it's quite hard to miss such a thing, so... Yeah, honestly, Nico's uh, MG play in this game was very on point. Yeah, just terrific. It really kept the, all the infantry back and every time we go for a flank, again, no real mm -hmm. flanks on those MGs allowed apart from those combat engineers i will say that props to those combat engineers forcing back one mg to base at the start of the game yeah with that with that very deep flank <laughs> in the very north deep flank, yeah. yeah i mean it's Almost. one one thing i like all with all these new maps you have a lot of space around outside where the actual points are so you can use these as flanking routes which is really cool and it's something they utilize quite a lot by the players for those exact reasons yeah exactly because if this was like you know one of the older maps what would be is this area would just be cut off and then you can't use that for flanking so i think that's very a very cool feature of all the new maps actually so, that's the uh, thing yeah like yeah. a lot of the a lot of the older maps it's very laney very hard to flank mgs uh, but with this one, even with the big arc of the MG42, there is a way around. Yeah, and we have AE shouting out here. I did mention this at the start of the game, but you can even use the, the peer is the correct word, Nathan, for, yeah, uh, for okay, this area. Yeah. I, yeah. I totally don't have a mind blank on the word peer, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was about to call it the beach, but, you know, post line, I guess <laughs> beach, it works. yeah. I mean, I guess there's a bit of... Uh, yeah. This, this is what a Swedish beach <laughs> looks like for, for your information, you know? <laughs> yeah, so Swedish beach, where yeah. you lounge on the the beach uh, chairs and boats. <laughs> yeah, but that was game two, boys. We are about to check out if game three has started. This is, of course, a best of five. So there is at least one more game possible here. I'm hoping we get more. I, I, uh, it's so good to watch both of these players play. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, so they're, they're, they're playing so well as well, you know. Oh, it's they not really like, are, honestly. Yeah. They're on point. And you know, you can say that, you know, it's 500 to 0 VPs or whatever, but the games themselves are still very close, right? It's like... You... Watching both the, the players maneuver around what's against them is very, uh, very nice to watch. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the VP gain, game hasn't been on the favor of Loveness. Um, he just hasn't been able to hold his fuel, to be honest. In both games, he's been really trying to defend his fuel while also trying to cut off Nico's. Um, and in the meanwhile, he hasn't been having the, having the VPs. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm curious to what uh, commanders we'll see in the third game. That's also why I want to see uh, more games. It's always nice to see a variety of commanders. Oh yeah, you know, it's Commander Terminator, so uh, yeah. no more uh, Ostruppen for uh, Love Nest after this game. Oh, for, for Nico, sorry. And no, of course, no counter-attack tactics anymore I mean, for Love Nest. When so. do you ever see counter-attack tactics? You I do mean, see it, it sometimes. A choice. Like, especially on the map like that, because like, the shot troopers really you know, do very well on a urban map like that with all the line of sight blockers. Yeah, but you know, it, it um, does have the KV-1, and all the KV-1 doctrines are actually quite strong, I think, just because because of the KV-1, you know? It's a, it's a very KV, nice addition yeah. to the Soviet roster. The KV-1 is great, but I think there is better commanders uh, with the KV-1. Um, Notably the guard rifle with the, the guards, and of course that strafe, which is quite strong. Yeah, uh, I mean, any anything with guards uh, really uh, is super strong. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So we are waiting for game three currently. Uh, it's going to be a couple minutes, it seems like. They might be having a break. That's fine. Um... Um, so yeah, refresh your drinks. We are going to take a couple minutes break here. Uh, I will switch the scene as well. We'll just go and grab something to drink. So uh, be right back, boys, and we'll see you in uh, approximately five to ten minutes. Not exactly ten, not exactly five. It's going to be somewhere around there. So uh, in between. St yeah, stay tuned, and uh, and we'll be be right back, as you say. <clears throat> And here we are in game three of this uh, semi semi final between uh, Love Nest playing as the Soviets here on Amelie Fields Winter, opening up with a conscript build as well as picking guard motor coordination tactics, and facing him up to nil. Yeah. Yeah. Might might want to save the other two for the the finals happening tomorrow if he manages to pull through. He did use community defense last game, so we know he does like uh, Ostruppen. But yeah, we have the first couple of captures going in here. Straight up conscript so far for Lovness though. Usually you see the double engineer opening, especially with this commander, just to fill in those guards a couple of minutes later. Mm -hmm. Oh. You usually see double engineer, especially with this one, because you do what will have guards later on. Uh, apologies, Nathan, you were actually muted the first few oh, minutes. It's okay, I was just saying how much I hate the chat. Yeah. <laughs> can you can you introduce the Axis player once again? Yeah, okay. So, on the Axis side, we have Nico, who has uh, a Struppen Doctrine. He has Jaeger Infantry, and he's got Strategic Reserves. And based on deduction powers, we think he's going to go Jaeger Infantry, because he's already got Triple Gren. Um, so I doubt we're going to see uh, any Assault Grenadiers or Struppen today yeah. or in this matchup. Shout out to A in chat for trying to ruin my stream here, but thank you very, very much for those gifted subscriptions, my friend. And I'm sorry for the alerts. They are apparently on and I can't disable them, so live with it. You're going to hear some uh, some all porn uh, beatboxing. But it's interesting, he did go for double engineer, but he went for a late second engineer and went for the conscripts first. Yeah, it's not too common. Usually you go the double engineer at opening to get that early early map tapping. Yeah. Exactly. Again, we've seen this a lot throughout this entire series. A lot of aggression on the fuel from Nico. Mm -hmm. Flamer is popping now though. It's going to be quite the spike here in power for Luvnest. And he seems to be needing it, taking some very poor engagements here in the first couple of minutes of the game. Two squads already forced to retreat. Keep 
And uh, it's not a helicopter chen, it's uh, it's an all port, which is a instrument. I was I thought I was making some background audio by accident because but because I, I don't have your audio in your stream. Oh okay yeah. Yeah, well, when I read the chat, they were like, I thought there was a background from me. <laughs> oh, it's just your sub sound. But we do see a cutoff here from uh, Cheeky Love Nest managing to yeah. uh, to cut off uh, Nico's resources. I mean, the Grenadiers capping the fuel now by the uh, west side. Mm -hmm. And uh, rough en engagement here for the Grenadiers in the center. We see a rifle nade. Cancelled. It's just uh, Nico being the the poker player that he is, you know, keeping that yeah. poker face on and uh, mean... with those bluffs. And there we go, an actual rifle nade Pro across the green cover, though. So uh, most of the damage is nullified when you throw grenades over a green cover. That is correct. Uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be doing too well for uh, for Lepnas. but there is a second cons coming now, or rather a third. And we see no machine gun actually opening up for Nico. It's four grenadiers into a, uh, the fifth unit being the machine gun. So interesting opening there. In the meantime, Love Nest taking tier two. So might be skipping the guards, which would surprise me, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, once again, Nico's got the dominating fuel uh, control. Both fuels captured, his cutoff uh, has been resecured. Combat Engineer walking straight into an S-Mine field here. We've seen Nico in the, the past two games here utilizing the S-Mines quite a lot. And even with this Grenadier build, it seems. Yeah, I mean, they've been paying off. Mm -hmm. Heal Bunker going up for Nico, just to make sure he's not bleeding too much in these engagements. Grenadier here closing in on the conscripts in the center. Forcing them away, very nice. You're finally being recaptured by the engineers down south. Why are they also placing a mine? Yeah, both players using uh, every tool in their in their roster essentially. We also have tier three coming up for Lovnest here, so an M5 is a viable option at this point. I think he has the the fuel already ready for it, or he could wait another minute for a T70. He might, yeah, he might wait a bit, mostly because of the, uh, he probably wants to saw those munitions. Mm -hmm. Pioneer on the far right is about to be in, uh, in serious trouble. Retreat coming in, one model taking a lot of damage. Conscripts standing here, the ret oh, yeah. retreat path is going to go straight past this. Oof, very close there. Conscripts just couldn't get the first couple of shots to finish it. Meanwhile, we have the Grenadier on the far left fuel capturing, but there is a mine there, so if he tries to backpedal from an assault, he could be in trouble. And we do have the M5 in queue for Loudness, which uh, is interesting because the M5, like a year ago, never saw much play. But nowadays, it actually sees quite, quite a decent amount. Oh no, he's, he's cancelled it. Oh, he actually, oh, he might actually be going back to the T7 then. Not feeling I confident. Think the T seventy is a fine choice, most because the munition investment on the M five is a bit heavy on with this commander. Mm -hmm. We saw another rifle nade here in the center for Nico. So that's two rifle nades already being used. So that's an entire LMG essentially put into grenades. Yeah, this delay of the MGs could cost them. I mean, the T seventy is already coming out. Oh, it's another rifle nade on the flamer though, almost going down, saved by the division blocker that is the house. Yeah, a bit of a slow reaction there from Lovnas, not realizing there was a rifle nade coming in. Uh, was that a tripwire mine going off there? I yeah. think on the south side VP. Nico or Lovnas really struggling here to, to grab map control, it seems. The We've seen that on this entire series, just the map control has not been the favorite of Love Nest. Yeah, Nico is playing so well in the early game here. And he even, you know, second guesses himself to capture this VP because of the S mines. Just aggression from Nico really pulling off. But here we are, the T70 is on the field. And uh, Nico has been started building tier 3. Ooh, that's a super early tier 3 actually, skipping uh, light vehicle completely. 
Meanwhile, yeah, we have, I think, yeah, we have guards from Love Nest as well. When there's a mine here, Grenadier is dodging it by a slim oh, margin. Just past it. Yeah, it could have been a wipe if they hit that. C7 is going to try to wipe them, nonetheless, but they should be fine. Yeah, I can't see any tellers here from Nico, and there's no grenadiers in uh, in any any near proximity to stop this. Uh, the, yeah, it looks like another one's coming up now, and looks like it's going to get out. The T-70 was missing its shots. Yeah, unfortunate for Loveness there, but nice attempt nonetheless. As the first couple of LMGs are starting to pop for Nico, having this yeah. very dominant map control has given him quite an, uh, a resource advantage. Yeah, and the guards automatically getting their DPs upgraded for Loveness. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon Nico is going for here? He, we might see another Ost win this game, potentially. I mean, it may be alright, but those guards are really deadly versus uh, vehicles. And if you go to an Ostwind, it could easily get cancelled out by the uh, guards with the button. By the way, look at the, to the top left fuel here. There's three mines in a very close proximity. We could see a couple of grenadiers going down there. We still have no sweeper from uh, Nico's pioneers. So, uh, that has some potential. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see that. I mean, really scares about that fuel. I mean, Nico has been very aggressive on it, so I'm no surprise there. And these guards just holding the line here versus three grenadiers. Yeah, but the grenadiers have not really got their upgrades yet. One has an MP42, the rest are just rifles. Mm -hmm. So it's not a death blob of grenadiers right now. Concerts are kind of important though from the north. Game um, sense of Loveness is really paying off here, queuing up that SIS gun around the almost 11 minute mark, knowing he is behind, and no nope, light vehicle from Nico means that that first medium is just seconds away, potentially. I mean, it looks like he's leaning towards the P4, he's only 20 fuel away from it. Mm -hmm. And the Oost wind actually gets chosen oh, here. Oh, he does finally lock in. Okay, I don't know about this. It could go either way. Those guards can easily negate that Oost wind. Mm, taking but a look at Lovness here. Also... No snares yet, so... We will see. Another mine for Lovness. That's going to be cancelled here, though. No, it's not. Never mind. The Grenadiers does not immediately cancel. Let's see here. No sweeper yet for Nico. I think she's just... so much munitions on those grenades, so it's been behind. Yeah. Could we see a uh, snare there? No, we saw a... I don't know why I just watched those engineers walk into that mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did he not see the mine being placed? Uh, potentially, no. We, Grenadier getting very low in the center there, walking on another tripwire yeah, yeah. there. The mines have been doing some wonders for Hello Nest. Yeah, it's one of the strengths of the, the Soviet faction, for sure. We finally have a sweeper for Nico, and that's unfortunate for Loveness, because that means all of the mines on the fuel are going to be spotted, and that's a lot of munitions. Yeah, uh, they didn't really work out for him either. They could have, but they just didn't walk over them. And Ostwin is revealed, and Loveness immediately queues a second SIS gun. First SIS gun already in position now to stop this. Connects the first shot there. Still no snares, however. Yeah, there's already anything around there, so it's gonna get out. As there is more LMG 42s popping for Nico. Has this MG. Where's this MG been all this game? It feels like it hasn't really seen that much usage. Maybe I'm just not been following it too well. Uh, it's Vet Zero, so it's not been. I mean, he he got it kind of late, right? He went for That's Grenadiers. Quite short. Like, did he go with the Grenadiers first? Yeah, he yeah, did, didn't he? He went for Grenadiers into the machine gun after, so yeah, it, it was a bit late. Um, he might have been thinking about skipping it, but then opted for one yeah. anyway. Yeah, Ostwind here completely repositions from the right hand side, knowing there's a SIS gun there, but Love Nest already having his second one in position for this area. Yeah, I mean, the Ostwind isn't too fully health top. Uh, the SIS gun's already coming on for it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on the far right, Flamer and Con combos slowly pushing away these uh, Grenadiers. The 
Is this gonna walk past the MG42? Oh, that's unfortunate for Nico. Ostwin seems fine though. Grenadiers in the far right actually winning that engagement. That's quite sick. I think it might have been Loveness not marching MG. It. Oh, what a barrage on this MG there. Conscript almost going down, but does get away with a sliver of HP. Same with the MG42, just gets away with uh, no health at all. Mm -hmm. And we have a pack for Nico playing it safe. Not going to risk playing without AT for a minute longer. I mean, Loveness hasn't got a tier 4 up yet, but he's got the fuel too. Mm -hmm. We did also see Loveness going in Mortar earlier, in an earlier game, on the Champs, so Mortar play is is possible here with the 120 mil, featured by the Guard Motor Commander, of course. With the 120 mil, I mean, uh, it's definitely uh, more viable. That is a horrible thing to deal with, as they've uh, marked. As we seemingly have some sort of Christmas truce here, truce here. Two huge uh, concentrations of forces, Loveness being very dug in, and same for Nico here. We've got a uh, tier 4 now being built for Loveness, so should we see a tank soon enough? Yeah, good call there. Ostwin getting a nice flank off, Siskan repositioning, opens fire, misses however. That was a big miss. Must give some credit to Nico here as well, using his Ostwin together with his Sweeper. Of course, he, he is aware that the only way the Ostwin goes down at this time of, of the game is if it hits a snare or uh, a mine, so... I'm actually surprised the T-70's only got four kills. There, was a, there wasn't any AT on the field for a good while. Yeah, I mean, the T-70 was uh, quite delayed, right? But we see the Ostwin here could be going in for a play on the T-70. Some attack rounds. Player has gone off, so he knows where it is. First shot misses. Pack gets a connection in. I think he still needs two more hits. I don't think that's in kill range. But it is oh, in wrong T7 to go oh, down. Wait, really? Huge attack runs there from Nico. Yeah, maybe uh, Lovnas didn't think he would get that killed by one more shot. If you do look at the VPs, it's not as heavily in favor of Nico this time around, so he's been keeping an eye on that little mess that's been. Yeah, I think he's been focusing it a bit more this game compared to the earlier matches. He needed to. Like, he was losing a hard on the VPs. Yeah, and, and he could have came back from those games if he didn't have, if he had more VPs. Exactly. Both games he actually had a strong army, army force uh, throughout, so it's just the, the VP bleed really, really punishing him here in this series. Um, yeah, as you mentioned, tier 4 was uh, was being built, so a vehicle is, pretend, uh, is happening for Luvnest quite soon, just waiting for that manpower. Yeah, I mean, he's got the T-3485 uh, as a possibility. Yeah. Uh, so he can definitely save up for that, I means he doesn't have the manpower to get anything out just yet, anyway. Meanwhile, Nico did pick up a second MG42, uh, which will delay his next vehicle. If he wanted a Panzer IV, he's gonna have to wait for the, the manpower now, considering he picked this up. Mine being placed down on the uh, little wooden part between the VP uh, and the uh, fuel. Not quite sure where where that is. In the, uh, between the uh, truck and the the wooden blocks, uh, near the north VP. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, that's a yeah, really good position. Yeah. It's a very strong uh, mine placement because a lot of uh, vehicles utilize this road. Yeah, a lot of traffic, and it's just immediately going to get popped, as you can see there. Yep, there we go. Yep. Grenadiers being pressured in the north left. They can get sent back north in the Could potentially go down there as well. Seems. Uh, Nico isn't following. We see a rifle nade on the other fuel though. Engagements happening all over the place. MG moving oh, up. Down. Don't know like Loveness is looking. So the guards are sent back. And the yes. engineers are in danger. Meanwhile on the right side VP we have the sweeper there. So making sure that there's no more mites. Yeah. The MG on the left is flanked. Using the Molotov to keep the uh, infantry out of the green cover. 
Mm. But still a tough engagement for those uh, cons. Yeah, I, those cons are going to get sent back, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, almost snare there for uh, on the Ostwin. Not quite in range though. Could have used the Ura, it but. It sent back the uh, Grens up on the North EP. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly. The, the cons did win that. Another Pioneer closing in now though. The we 35 have... is coming out now. Yeah, but so is the Panzer 4. And looking at the, the left fuel, you see both mines are actually still there. I don't know how the Grenadiers earlier actually missed those when they retreated. That's quite yeah, unlucky for uh, Linus. Yeah. And the Siskans here just charging into this Grenadier could potentially be decrewed. Goes for a snare on the Oswind. Yeah. Should be careful the of that combo. Yeah, the distance could not get to the Oswind because of the Grands there. Just very well played from Nico there, you know, screening his Ostwind with the, the Grenadiers from the Siskans. Yeah, but here very comes, well played. Here comes the Panzer IV, and of course it's uh, mirrored, essentially, by the T-3485. Yeah, no more, uh, no more mines on the map other than on that fuel, so... Uh... Don't have to worry too much. But the Grenadiers, you know, oh, this could go down actually. They are paddling back, oh, no. which means they're in Grenadier range. Let's see what the retreat path is going to be. Could be two options. One which gets them killed. They no, get the, model, the model dies, so he didn't walk on it. Still might go down to the T3485 co actual machine gun. We have Pack Gun in position. Grenadier does go down. Panzer 4 yep. coming in clutch here. Just switching up completely as soon as the T-3485 is revealed. MG-42 being uh, killed by the T-34 down south. Meanwhile, a rogue grenadier, actually two rogue grenadiers coming in for the cutoff on the SIS guns, it looks like. Which means Panzer, Panzer Force... For the T-3485? Yeah, it has an opening now. If the the guards are there though, with the button, perhaps. Not yet, but SIS gun does open up, might see a rifle nade here. No rifle grenade. It's not the case. But they can't be coming into support while there's this gonna move up. Yeah, that grenadier is now in trouble. He needs to be running, getting out of there. Could go down. Yeah. That could be huge for Luvnest. T34 cannot continue to push because the Panzer's right there, but it looks to be right now. MG42 is uh, low in the in the mid. Mm -hmm. Guards low back. as well. Seems the mines have been popped. Quite oh, yeah. short by one, actually. Maybe the guards got hit by it because of an explosion, maybe? Yeah, but the cons oh, charging in here. We have a uh, marked target being used on the Ostwin as well, giving uh, Levnest some vision. And yeah, this I mean, army is just moving up. Are the Siskans in range here from Panzer IV? He should have vision. Uh, Yeah, they are. Ostwin taking down the plane there, giving him the two. He just doesn't see the Panzer IV right now with the, the guns. Now he does. There you go, open fire. One miss, one hit, I think. Yeah, it's just a bit surprising they didn't open fire earlier, because they should have vision with the plane in the sky, but maybe it wasn't maybe enough. It just, yeah, maybe it just missed it. Yeah, potentially so. What is this? Is that demo? Oh yeah, they, of course, common engineers can also do flares, my bad. <laughs> And it immediately gets popped, but you know, it's not a huge loss. It at least gives uh, Lovness some line of sight here. The engineers are fine capping down the uh, east fuel. Meanwhile, Lovness is grabbing the victory point on the left as well. Just getting some more map control with this uh, vehicle. As soon as he gets it, the, the game shifts a bit. The Sis guns really are like in a huge really position here to be. To be honest, huge uh, shot there from the Panzer IV. And the Ziskans don't get a shot on the Panzer IV either. There we go, one volley goes in, needs one more. P4 could be going down here, could use tracking. It goes down. Not even sure if tracking was used there. No, it wasn't. Didn't need to. Is this gun usage has been very good this game from uh, Lovnas. Mm -hmm. Combat Engineer on the far right though, retreating, could go down here. Seems MG4 to be fine. Back, by the T-35. It's not safe though, there's a squad on retreat, it's the guards. 
Don't see that MG making it back home here, unless he is very lucky. No, he no luck. No, he's, he's dead. We now have a hard MG42, six man squad. A god MG42. Yeah, that's some huge victories for Loveness this uh, l this last minute. Yeah, Ziska's moving up to try and keep the Osman back. Yeah. Of course, you have this small uh, line of sight blocker stopping the Ziskans from yeah. opening fire. Friends on the north VP being uh, uh, pushed by the T-35. Yeah, even with those uh, those small victories, or small and small, quite large victories for Luvnest here, he's still bleeding victory points. We do have some yeah, S mines yeah. on the far left VP as well, kind of stopping any capture there. He needs to be a bit more um, aware of the VPs right now. It was Seems... a great uh, push. Second pack coming out now for Nico. Yeah, seems he's uh, not uh, trusting the... Wait, never mind, Battle Phase 3 is happening, so uh, we're about to find some Tier 4 vehicles. There is actually interesting, yeah. There is Tiger Ace, if he, if he wants it, in his loadout. He's still not picked a commander, so... Yeah, uh, he hasn't, has he? So he could always go for the Tiger Ace if he wants to. Uh, of course, also comes with the Panzer 4 J. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what commander he'd really go for then the for the Tiger Ace or the P4Js. Maybe he just didn't want to use a commander right now because he didn't want to lose any of them. Yeah, true. This is um, Commander Terminator. Of course, Combat Engineer walking straight into that s mine field. Oh, we yeah. did finish the job. Seems to be getting away, though. That's the... Uh, the stolen MG is fully replenished and positioned in the center. It is, however, flanked there by that Grenadier squad, but Pack is about to go down. That's quite bad. Siskans could just go up and destroy this. Yep, Pack's gone down. Second Pack's nearby. Austin awesome uh, trying to force back the con, uh, the Gren, yeah. the guards. There we go. MG42 repositioned to stop the flank. The pack remains on the field with that recapture. Doesn't look like uh, Lopez has placed any more mines now that he knows that they're getting all speed. I must admit though, I think Nico is on the clock here. You know, he's he needs to do something because Soviet late game is slowly kicking in here and it's just a slippery slope for that. If you look at the fuel, Lovness has stored it right now, 196. Yeah, I think it might be, you know, the MG recapture kind of kind of delayed his next vehicle a bit. Yeah, that's possible. If it, uh, he definitely needs to get, get another one out because he's uh he wants to get that momentum shift. I mean, he's Nico. In his army. Yeah. N Nico, you know, he's not opted for any vehicles recently, and I'm pretty sure Lovnest has paid attention to that. So we might see an SU-85 being kept here or picked here just to. Just to keep any heavier vehicles. Yeah. Uh, Lovness may think that he's going for a tiger. Because uh, he didn't know that uh, what commando he's necessarily is using. I mean, we, we know as casters here that the heavy, ca heavy <laughs> panzer core is up. So uh, we have potential panther as well as Sturm, Sturm panzer. Also known as the Brumber, of course. Yeah, I mean, the Panther isn't the worst choice because the T-3485 really munches on those Panzer IVs. Mm -hmm. As mine's finally swept on the, the, the left VP. Of course, we have chat cheering for a potential Tiger Ace pick here. It is possible. It is definitely possible. We might see it. Possible, but whether we actually see it, I mean, Nico will have to choose it. I can't afford. We see a Panzerwerfer, so no vehicle at all. I don't know about the choice at all, to be honest with you. Oh, Katusha as well for Love Nest. Both oh, sides interesting. Launchers. Full mirror. I guess both players, you know, with a double 80 gun. I think this might be a natural progression, but it's still a bit strange to see these units being picked when you're floating yeah, this much fuel. Love Nest. If he gets a couple barrage, he can wipe those packs and that'll GG for him. Don't know about for Nico, though. Yeah. Because I don't know what he's going to gain. Like, it's going to be helpful, though, wipe, wiping those Ziskons out, but there's still a T-35 on the field. Yeah, I think this choice makes more 
sends for Nikod and Lovnest, you know. Lovnest is very dug in here in the center and Nikod just needs to to hold it for a bit while. Even though the VP VP lead is slowly diminishing here, Lovnest is is taking the control here in this game for sure. I mean, like I said, if he gets a good barrage on those on those packs, then he can finish the game with that T35. Yeah. Werfer in position with, yeah. could see uh, could see some form of advance on the center. Yeah, Lovnest is just really dug in here. You have the mines, you have the uh, firing position uh, guards. Yeah. Werfer, oh no, that's the Katusha on the MG42. But Werfer... Hans uh, Werfer barraging the AT gun on the MG. Taking out the SIS gun there. Perfect yep. barrage. Meanwhile, Katusha not getting a good spread here. Actually, does not kill the the MG42. No, no. It's just surprising when you see uh, wipes. It's usually the Katusha wiping and the pants uh, were for missing. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, it actually wasn't enough for uh, Nico to to gain any ground here. He is still it's not yeah, it's just holding. So they're losing the vet two on the uh, Ziscon. It is quite big. Oh yeah, for sure. Meanwhile, of course, um, Nico has access to this Vet1 pack, which of course comes with the target weak point. Could be very useful. He al is also floating a lot of munitions here, so looking at his options, you know, something like Jaeger Infantry could be very strong here with the, with the Stuka anti-tank strafe, as well as the light artillery barrage, making use yeah, of those munitions. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely uh, some... Uh late game utility in here in these doctrines mm -hmm. the green sandbags being used against love less now in the center And we have chat here speculating if Nico is saving the uh, Jaeger Infantry doctrine, doctrine, doctrine for a different game. You know, Commander Terminator means you can't really, can't really blindly yeah, pick. I, I think it's Katusha a fair coming in on the center. Sorry for interrupting. That's fine. But the scatter not being really on Lovna's side here once again. Katusha just taking out three models, even though there was such a concentration of force there from Nico. I don't Nico. know why it's with these Katushas today, but they've not been paying off for, uh, for anyone utilizing them. A Panther's been built, by the way, for Nico. Oh yeah, Definitely Panther is the cool, choice. Though. Werfer opening fire. Potentially on the oh, center. No. Oh no, that is like over the Zissif it. It's... Gets a couple Just models. misses them. Just misses them. Yeah, yeah, it does hit Vet one, one though before the the Katusha does with that first barrage, so it gets How's that. It uh, mean, uh, doing a lot more currently. Yeah, it does get that extra Vet one ability, which I don't think it's called. No, it's called low angle. I don't know what the tooltip says counter barrage. It's called low angle, but it is an option now for uh, Nico. Yeah, the Panzerwerfer works best, you know, as close as possible to get the least spread. As the Panther hits the field here. Most likely just going to get that um, Pintel machine gun upgraded straight away with this munition float. Doesn't have much else to spend it on unless he, he picks a commander here. Meanwhile, you know, Lovnest just spamming mines. Look at this double, double plantation here. It's going to take out the... Uh... down by the uh, Panther, so... Oh yeah, it's cancelled. Yeah, hey, good. Combat Engineer about to go down here in the center. Lovnest not oh, paying attention. Where? Did they also have to reload there? I think it's gonna get away because he had to reload. Yeah, potentially so. Siskan's still uh, in trouble. It seems Nico is, might be going for a dive here. Werfer not ready to fire just yet, but this would be quite the target. But couldn't get there, so he backs up. Yeah, we did, we did also see marked vehicle being used on the Ostwin, but of course, Vet 3 is going to shoot down the plane quite fast. Yeah. And here comes the Werfer. As well as the Katusha on the Grenadiers, huge first salvo. Second one coming in, Gren's very low. They may go down to the guards. Seemingly gets away. But the second uh, Gren's now in danger. 
But yeah, both sides both get away. See, this bleed for Loveness has not allowed him to get another tank out. T3485 about to stop, step into the range of the pack gun. Austin Meanwhile, go down. Eastwind goes down to the double sis combo. Yep. And Loveness is grabbing the far left VP as well. Nico under heavy pressure here. He's now. Where I first moved up, but it hasn't reloaded yet, so. Has to be aware, careful on that. Mm -hmm. Again, no second tank for Loveness. He's got so much fuel right now. He's, maybe he's not sure power. what to pick. Maybe, but maybe it's the manpower loss he's losing from the pit Answerworth barrages. Mm -hmm. It's definitely hurting him. And looking at the, the game overall, overall here, Loveness just overtook uh, Nico in terms of VPs. Yeah. Pack Salvo missing. No target weak point used, however. Siskan's trading shots with the Panther. Well, that Panther cannot go down. It's the only thing that can deal with this T385 right now. I mean, you have the packs, but the packs are not in position. Oh, wait, there's maybe they are in position if they get a <laughs> shot with these Lion Stop Blocker. <laughs> yeah, of course, you have the Pioneer there spotting for the packs. And Verfer opening fire on the six man MG42. Almost gets it. Meanwhile, Katusha should be ready to fire as well. It is in position, not shooting though. Shoe 85 coming in now for Loveness. Ooh, that's a very strong pick here, I think. I'm expecting Nico to go um, to go Brum next. Of course, T34 baiting the packs to open fire. Katusha no, instantly the targets them. The pack yeah. into it. Oh no. Oh, God, that is bad. One pack gun down. Second one gets away. Siskans, now. yeah, Siskans are in position to destroy the gun as well. So that's a pack that Nico probably can't rebuild here if he wants a, another vehicle. That was very good from Loveness trying to bait out the packs for shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like that a lot. That's usually what you want to be doing with this this type of combo, but they've not really had the opening to do so until now. So uh, Loveness taking that opening that uh, Nico left, and uh, yeah, it paid off for him. Yeah, grabbing center is probably going to make a move for the left VP as well. We see finally a Brumber now picked for Nico, so he's not rebuilding that pack. He, he wants that anti-infantry out. Yeah, I mean, the infantry is in favor of Lufnest. Mm -hmm. Looking at Nico here, it seems he's tempted to go for the, the, hard, the far right VP. Uh, he might be considering that there is mine, so he might be waiting for that Pioneer to move up. At least they have the 80 support ready. Verfer also ready to barrage. But there's not really any options for the P Verfer right now. I guess we could get a nice barrage in the middle, but. Might be going for a crush here. Yeah, Loveness sees it coming and retreats before. Very aware. As the See, Brum no, he had a good population for the SU-85, by the way. It's been stored up in the uh, Q-in for a while. <laughs> Mine and the flare going off to that rifle lay there. As the Grenadiers are forced to retreat, almost actually goes down there. But first needs to consider maybe losing something for that. Oh, there we go, the SU-85 is now out. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nico is on the push or on the aggression here. He's going for the Sis guns, Verfer and Brumbar combo. Manages oh, to only decrypt one of them. Horrid. Meanwhile, Brumbar almost goes down. SU 85 needs to get here. Yeah. yeah, Mark target is used. No Ostwind around anymore to shoot it down either. Those guards could have came in and done something though, but he finally re realized that they could have, but a bit late. Yeah. It's not over yet though for Lovnest here. He has Katusha ready as well, and the. The vehicles are coming. Brumbar in yep. a poor position. Could go down here. Oh, the MG42 do suppress the uh, guards. Lovenest second guesses with the pack in position, but the Katusha is now coming in on the MG42. Accent packing, but just gets out. MG safe once more. Yeah, 60 VP is now remaining for Nico here. So he's, uh, he's on the clock for sure and he needs to do something with the ball that's in his uh, courtyard. Repairs on Brum going down. Panther waiting.
Rough grenade goes off and dodged by the uh, guards. Yes, Lufnes takes the map once again. No opening for Nico, even though he gets that one Sis gun out. But it's going to be repaired and immediately recruited here from Lufnes. Yeah, VP control swinging straight into uh, Lufnes for sure. Grand's coming in mid straight into an MG42. Oh, yeah. Werfer is ready to fire. Could see that low angle? Nope. Normal barrage being used, even though he has the munitions here. I think he could use that low angle a bit more. But yeah, Grant's getting very low. The, uh, could go MG42. down here to the MG42. The MG42 did dodge the barrage and sets it right in front of the Grand because. And the Grand here goes down. Nico yeah. can't afford that. No, 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 he's already behind in the infantry. Yeah. Brumvet 1 now, however, gets the bunker busting barrage, which is. Quite a heavy long range barrage that the Brumberg gets access to. Meanwhile, Mark another marked target. Now. Yeah. Yeah, the guards trying to stay near it to button it, perhaps. And there we go, we see the barrage being used on the guards here. First shell taking out half the squad. Big barrage. Siskun's firing on it though. Yeah, with the, with the marked oh, vehicle no, no. combo. Could it go down here? Doesn't seem Nico is paying attention. It bounces. Gets out oh, of there. I'm gonna get out. Oh, God. That bounce saving it. Yeah, Grenz though taking quite a large hit there from the T-45 now up to 24 kills. Meanwhile, Katusha is ready to fire. He's firing again, probably on the far left. Yes, indeed. Yep, bad first, pop. bad first scatter though. But Nico doesn't seem to be to be moving. Doesn't want to leave the VP down to 30 VPs. He is, and he is losing the left now. And the yep. center. Very first shooting. Well, the dodge point of the combat engineers, very well aware of his surroundings, love messes. Yeah. The conscripts, though, finally have been activated to capture the point down south. The Brumbear coming on mid now to try and keep out the combat engineers. Keeps moving oh, about nice. to try to oh. stop. Grenadiers on the far right, in trouble! Long retreat oh, path, yeah, yeah, home! Good but the, uh... Panther's coming in. As the Brumbar is moving to the left, the conscripts never actually capture that point. That's quite unfortunate. Could go in for a snare here though. Siskan is almost in position, but he second guesses and runs away. Brumbar, yeah. Yeah, a pioneer goes down here for Nico. Nico his forces is just windling. He has nothing left. It's, it's already crumbling for Nico. He's got nothing. Yeah, maybe uh, Nico for um, he won't risk choosing one of the uh, commanders. Mm -hmm. He's got a little bit of breathing room with the victories he's got right now. He's what? He's two zero. Yeah, exactly. So it's not over for Nico even if he loses this uh, game. He can still take the entire series home. He only needs one more win. Yeah. It is best of five. Siskan gets decrewed here. Brumbar drives on a mine. Where's the F-85? Oh, no. It's right in position. Just... This Brumbar's is gonna go down, it looks like. Yeah, guard uh, or mark vehicle coming down. Oh, MG42 oh, yeah. goes down as well. There's nothing pushing for the Brumbar though. Panther di uh, diving on the right. Could mark or button this. Siskan goes down to the Panzerwerfer. No button coming in from uh, Lovnest here. Yeah, he has the munitions for it. Plane goes down to the, the pintle of the Brumbar, it seems. But yeah, the, the Brumbar not dying there, but there's no repairs on the field for Nico. He can't even repair it. No, Both. he's lost the pioneers, yeah. Yeah, I think they recaptured the MG in the center and he lost them. Yeah, it looked like. Oh, that Panther's been marked. That uh, isn't going to be uh, here for a lot strong. He's been no, buttoned, I think, yeah, as well. Yeah, buttoned from the, the guards, which is yeah, going to um, kill him here. Sweeper or... or yeah, yeah, off, yeah. Then he gets in range. Nothing stopping this SU-85. We have a pack gun, but that's in front of a machine gun. Brumbar goes down to the... To the Nothing, not the MG. Yep, the Brumbar down. And Back Nico down. is rebuilding his grenadiers at this point. That's horrible. SU-85. Everything. And that Panther's gonna go down by the SU-85, just chasing. Uh, there's some wiggle room for Nico here, playing around this house, actually. 
actually surprised that it isn't dead yet already. Maybe uh, you're just a bit too afraid of what's there. I think Lovnest is just microing so heavily on the other front. You yeah. know, he, he knows that Panther is out of uh, out of action anyway, and he only needs to win 20 VPs here to get this game. Yeah, that's true. He's going for another T385 battle. This game is pretty much over. Not so quite knows? yet, though. Yeah. Not quite yet. I think you know it's only 90 VP. So if Nico can get a hold here. But it's very tough with it's this map. I mean, look at his army. He's got no man. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it seems that's the game right there, right? Yeah, no way is he going to come back from this. And yeah, it looks like it's over. What a great game three here, though, from Lufnest. Really struggling at the start there with the map control. But, you know, he, he held through and the Soviet I mean, late it, game prevailed. It's okay, it's okay um, to lose out a bit uh, early on as long as you just... You know, with the Soviets, as long as you just hold out long enough to start that, you know, industry. Soviets mm -hmm. have a, such a good late game. Yeah, I don't think Nico is too 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 scared just yet. You know, he, he didn't actually pick a commander here, so he was probably thinking this game is uh, in the trash can anyway. So, we will see in game four, though, which is the next game. Yeah, and uh, I see that some people in chat are pointing out the fact that Nico's got almost 600 munitions in the bank. He had nothing to spend it on. Just spam those rifle nades. Yeah, he was constantly repairing and he kept losing his pioneers, so... I mean, yeah. the, the Jaeger Infantry Doctrine was an option, but would it really change the outcome? I, I guess we will never know, but... Looking at the stats here, we can see that uh, Lovnest was actually not doing too well, but, you know, it's conscript, it's six-man crews, and... Uh, that's usually the result you see here. Yeah, I don't think the uh, Jaeger Infantry Doctrine would have been worth it just for the like, artillery brush because he went for the Panzerwerfer, and it was kind of working out for him, wiping out those Ziskons and losing that Veronsi on it. Oh yeah, for sure. But if he didn't go for Panzerwerfer, it definitely wouldn't have been a, a bad call because the, you know, the Ziskons are annoying to deal with. Game four now, right? Yes, indeed. It's 2 1 to Nico. Uh, so, a uh, very great series. Really liking it so far. Uh, now, the question is will we get a uh, game five? Oh, yeah, true. Well, we're about to find out. A uh, shout out to KDC in chat as well. A very strong uh, caster as well. I, I do wa like watching him. Okay, you can uh, send me an invite. All right, let me reboot my game. Yeah. Same for me. So what are you guys thinking now, Chen? We have had the predictions at the start of the series, but with the uh, three games now, being finished, who do you think will take it home? I think it's very even, but it's still, you know, Nico still has that f uh, advantage with the uh, with two one in the series. So he's only one game away from winning. Loveness needs two. Uh, so yeah, quite rough. I think Loveness is uh, he, he he definitely realized like on the first game or two he wasn't really prioritizing the VPs as much as he should. Uh, so maybe with this game four and maybe with his new you know prioritization is to you know, not bleed so much VPs, maybe he can come back and uh, possibly win this. Oh yeah, but chat is actually, seems to be cheering for Lovnest here. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a great player, so, he, you know, it's not, uh, it's not out yet, over yet. <laughs> exactly. Okay, you can send me an invite whenever you're ready. Oh yeah? Yes. About to send you an invite, there you go. People are asking for predictions. We've already had predictions, so they're already on. Yeah, well, I believe it was Nico who was the favoured uh, out of them both. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Yeah. Could be wrong about that, though. I've got a brain of a sieve. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> all Especially right. when we watch some explosive gameplay like this. Players are asking for a three-minute break, uh, and since the, the delays of the games are about five minutes, that's going to be a bit uh, like eight minutes before we start game three, or game four, uh, apologies. So we are going to be right back, 
um, with taking a short break as well. Might as well drink some water, you know, keep uh, keep the energy on. Yeah, uh, I mean, be prepared for like a hopefully a great game four. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, so we're gonna switch to a loading screen here while we are waiting. So be right back, chat. Uh, approximately eight minutes before game four starts. So refill your drinks, grab that beer. I'm, I might do so myself. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. So yo guys, we're about to start any second now. Game is live. Just wanted to give a sh quick shout out to the Master League. If you're not a patron and you're really enjoying this and you got some dollars to spare, uh, make sure you support the Master League on Patreon, making these type of events possible. Also, you know, all the money goes straight to the, the players' pockets and it does increase the, the quality and the, the, the skill, or not the skill, but, you know, it, it gives encourages the players to really perform well. And we are about to switch to the game. I got my own beverage ready. So uh, let's, you know, just pull back and uh, watch some Code 2 competitive, eh? One second. And yes, here we are in game four of this uh, quarter, quarter semifinals between uh, none other than, of course, Love Nest, you know, he's just up one game, or he's not up one game, but he did win a game here. And he's playing once again as the Soviets, picking mechanized support tactics, very interesting commander choice. Facing him, we have Mm -hmm. Of course, we are fighting on Bryansk Forest, made by the mapmaker Vector. So we have the first couple of engagements going on here in the center and around the resource nodes of the fuels, of course, opening up. Mm -hmm. I do like Lovnest here in the north. He is just backpedaling to this huge garrison. But of course, that pioneer did deny his fuel, so no fuel so far for Lovnest. Oh my fucking god, I'm stupid. Sorry, excuse, <laughs> excuse, excuse, excuse my language as well. <laughs> my god. He's trying, to, he's trying to mute me, he's trying to keep me silent. <laughs> no, noob caster, you know, noob streamer. I know. Yeah, gi give, an in here? give an introduction to, to Nico as well. All right, so yes, uh, playing as the Wehrmacht, we have Nico, who has locked in the Jaeger Infantry Doctrine. And as we speculated last game, he may be choosing it. And maybe saving it for this game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big engagement up north here. Yeah, we do have the Flamer popping as Flamer's well. Flamer's just upgraded, yeah. So that's going to keep back the uh, engineers, or the pyro, sorry. In the meantime, the cutoff was taken here, taken here by Lovnest, so uh, less fuel from Nico as well. See, we haven't seen much of Bryansk in this tournament so far. Um, it's an interesting map. Oh yeah, I, I do I, like it though. Yeah, yeah I, I have no opinion on it because I haven't seen enough to really gauge how good of a map it is. Fair enough, fair enough. We see here Nico once again opening with no machine gun. He's just going straight into four grenadiers. Uh, which is an interesting option. I, there's not a lot of people that do this. Uh, it used to be way more common back in the day, especially versus Brits. But nowadays you usually do see the, the machine gun coming fast. Yeah, it's uh, interesting not to go the second, uh, um, second MMG. Mm -hmm. Battle phase one yeah. is uh, teched. Uh, but with that cutoff, the tier 2 seems to be slightly delayed. So, you know, tier 2 isn't coming up just yet. And it looks like uh, Lovness has got a bit more control over the fuel right now, which is uh, definitely different from the previous games, which he was behind quite a bit. 
Oh yeah, also prioritizing those VPs this time around. He's really been struggling the, with VPs the, the first two matches at least. He did w yeah. way better in the third game. I understand. He's been, you know, he's realized that, that that's his uh, downfall right now, is the VPs. So he's definitely uh, been aware of that. Yeah, indeed. And Loveness still no teching here from him. Uh, I do just... like how he's playing around these site block and trees uh, to try and get the infantry closer. Mm -hmm. Getting that better matchup. Definitely though, wiping out the pawn scripts. That's that huge was massive. this early. Yeah. Well played from Nico there. And I'm not sure what Luvness is doing. You know, it's not too much to micro there. So quite bad so, for him. Yeah, just a mistake. Meanwhile, tier 2 is finally up. 2-2-2, two, 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 not available just yet though. We have the machine gun being popped before then. Also, the healing bunker is coming up for him. It looks like Luminous might be con or attempted here, or not attempted, but contemplating getting the cutoff once again. Yeah, like maybe uh, he thought that the, con the cons were in the minimum range of the rifle grenade, that's why he just didn't expect it. Oh, true. Good call, good call. And we see the conscript being rebuilt, so it's back, but still a major loss for Lovinus there. Yeah, and it's got green cover on this cutoff now, so uh, that's gonna be annoying for the pioneers. Mm -hmm. Here comes the machine gun, and the 2-2-2 two two is uh, less than a minute away. Oh, there is a mine on the railway uh, yeah. between the VP and the calf. It's very hard to spot them. Yeah. I think uh, I think Nico knows about it. He does have the sweeper there, so it, it, it is revealed. For anything in Company is free. Can Relic add in a mine map mode just for us casters? Just so we know where all the mines are? <laughs> I, I also wouldn't mind, you know, if you have a sweeper and there's a mine in range, why isn't there like a small notification above this? To make sure that you actually spot the mine if you have the sweeper, you know? Definitely could be a little bit more clearer, yeah. Yeah, like just, like maybe an exclamation mark above it, like so, you know? That way you know it's there. But yeah, he retreats it without sweeping it, so he might not have noticed that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he know. yeah, I don't think he went walk near it. And 2-2-2 two to two is going straight to that direction, you know. If Yeah, he attack runs with those, so he knows it's there. All the mines we placed now by Love Nass on near around this cutoff. Mine did go off, it looked like. Yeah, on the, on the railway, and yeah, 2-2-2 two to two did take out the mine with the he attack run. knew it was there, yeah. Yeah, so he did see it. There are now two mines around that cutoff, uh, between the uh, log pile and the railway. Yeah, T uh, T seventy is now in queue though for Lovnest, and we have someone in chatting here, chat here calling it Chatu the Nico, which is probably a shout out to one of Lovnest's own. So he actually has a map called uh, Chatu the Lovnest, which he made like three or four years ago, together with I think it was Trick. So a small little, you know, hint to that one. Yeah. So yep, T seventy out now. MG here flanked by the combat engineers. It's like once again, these are the same engineers from the last game, obviously. <laughs> like game they two, you know, that like very long, flanking. very long. Yeah. yeah. But you know, two to two is here to stop any any pressure. Yeah, trying to use this uh, site, line of sight blocker to try and get a few more shots onto it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in the north, Nico making a large push on those conscripts in green, forcing them away. Yep, the engineers of the flame are hanging around, trying to flame the Grens through the line of sight. Lock up. t has moved up onto the MG42, forcing that back, mm -hmm. and the 2-2 has to be sent back in too. Two, snare. two, two almost got snare? snare there. They are available for uh, Lovinus there, but they were oh, not they in range, in it seems. Could see a cheeky rifle nade here, potentially on retreat, but no, Grenadiers are... Walking straight into that mine instead. Yeah, I mean, Lovelace definitely has uh, been getting that map control this time. Rifle grenade go off? Yes, indeed, on those conscripts. Getting very low, actually. He really wants that neutralize, though. But he does get there. them out here. Uh, Pack coming out now for Nico. Mm -hmm. Solid choice, I think. 
Yeah, he wants to keep that T70 back from the 2-2. And of course the MG. Meanwhile, this is uh, early game. is definitely going to Nico here. Very, very strong position right now with the majority of map being colored red. Yeah, I mean, it was looking strong for Loveness and then it just swung back in Nico's favor. I mean, that, that early conscript wipe kind of, you know, it's minus yeah, one squad. Really and, back. Yeah, without that, that, we probably would have seen guards by now, which probably could switch. Just look at kills right now. Nico really ahead in kills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good shot up there. Meanwhile, 2-2 two, two, two here taking some damage, but of course the mine has been swept, so no trouble for him. Pack in position, connects with the T70. Oh, some pathing issues! No oh, follow-up yeah. shot though. That T70 very lucky there. Yeah, I could have just, you know, back paddled behind the, the shot blocker, but... Yeah, sometimes it's more of a panic click though. He probably tried to get away and didn't realize. Mm -hmm. We see uh, ambush camouflage being used on the machine gun here, very nice. We also have a second machine gun in queue, so uh, no Jaeger command squads as of yet. Yeah, I doubt we're going to see the A command squad with the four grunts. I'm actually surprised about four grenadiers with the A command squad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true actually. We do see some nice use here from the flamer, hiding it behind the, the shot blocker using the attack ground. And it's, He's of course... been doing that throughout this game, it's been so strong and I really like to see that. Yeah, it was of course also hidden from the, the machine gun there, so very nice. There's one thing I do like in this uh, commander love necessarily, which is the AT ambush tactics camo. That is really strong. Yeah, for the cis guns. Yeah, it's really strong, and I like the uh, I like that in the stock room. And of course, you have guards on top of this. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nico here going for the G43s on his grenadiers. I think that's a pretty solid choice. This map has a lot of. You know, shot blockers and vision blockers, making Definitely it can be utilized quite well. Yeah, making it favor the close quarter engagements, and uh, that's where the G43s really shine. And we've already been seeing a lot of trying to utilize the line of sight blockers to get them in close. So I uh, don't see why Nika can't. And that's like a good snare go off in two to two. T70 Ooh. has not been activated. Mortar in the build now for Lovnest. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, mostly because I don't see it's gonna get be that useful right now. But hey, we may we may see use from it. Mm -hmm. I do like how Loveness kind of stabilized the map here a bit. The T70 has really, you know, been shown very its value. Before, honestly. Lovness just using his flamethrower behind this shot blocker at all times. I do like that. It's going to attack ground once again, it seems, perhaps. Oh, the, yeah, the, T, the T70 uh, behind the sight blockers has been so good. Same as the 2 2 2. The big, big push from the Grenadier is up north here onto the uh, VP. Yeah, I might see a Molotov there, yes, indeed. Yep. Still probably not going to stop them, but it's going to make them trade a bit more efficiently, but... Oh, Packgun in trouble here! This could actually be huge! T70 could just be hamming it down here! Yeah, Grenadiers are T20. low, but there's an MG moving up! 2-2 two, two, two is snared! Now. That 2-2 two, two could take out, be down, taken out. Yeah, Pack still alive though, but the Mortar is here, could see smoke potentially on the Pack and then... Go in for the kill, it is all possible. And the guards are going for it. Yeah, getting behind that green cover. T70, however, snared in the south. Yep, the Grenadiers could get them. That's no follow up though. But it, it makes sure, you know, Loveness isn't punishing oh, this 2 sure. 2. Yeah, for sure. And this uh, game repaired now. This G43 Grenadier is really dealing some damage here. Doing quite well for uh, Nico. There's the smoke. A bit too late though. As the guards move straight into the, the second machine gun that's in ambush. The battle phase three, uh, 2 is uh, done for Nico, so uh, not mm -hmm. too far off tier 3. Oh, 
bit of a high Molotov there. Not really that useful. T70 finally forcing his MG away. Nice play from Lovnest. You know, keeping keeping this unit very efficient, even though there's a pack gun. And yeah, really keep those MGs away from this infantry. We already know Anika has been very uh, efficient with their MGs today. Yeah, and of course, you know, with this doctrine choice, the Grenadiers also has the sprint ability, which we could see some yeah. sprint into Faust in shenanigans yeah, I versus the about it. Definitely aware of that sprint yeah. into Sarah. Uh, no ambush on any of the Grenadier squads, though. Not so yet. He has locked in a Zisk gun. Yeah, definitely uh, something he needs. Oh yeah, true. Ziskan is out, so you no, know. Nico can get a Panzer IV right now. He hasn't gone for it yet, but yeah, he should uh, get one soon. Yeah, he can afford it. Light artillery barrage ready to launch. Does he just not realize he could get, or I'm, I'm not sure what he's going for right now. He's probably just uh, to too focused. Too busy microing, yeah. Micro decisions is second hand, you know? But there we go, sure. P4 is in queue. There we go. You have this MG in a very strange position. I think it's attack moved, and what happens is this guy is in range, so it doesn't move up any further. But there we go, he manually puts it up. Oh, and shit, sorry about that. This oh, two -two -two goes gun. down. Yeah, does this go max range, it looked like? Yeah, I, I totally missed that. Um, apologies. Yeah, it looks like, you know, Lovnest is kind of like dissecting uh, Nico's forces here. It's like that, you know, surgeon with his uh, surgeon Honestly, knife. I really am liking how he's utilizing the T-70 in this game. If I like last game, he was a bit passive with it, but this game, he's been really aggressive. Mm, we saw the IL-2 Sturmovik strafing run was used there as well to, uh, to remove the machine gun. It's uh, a very strong ability for being a strafe. It's uh, rare that the, the, the strafes are as strong as this one is. So you yeah, really need so, yeah, to pay attention. Sure. I think it's the best one in the game. Uh, in terms of uh, yeah, the uh, infantry traits. Exactly, yeah. It's not, it doesn't deal any AT at all, but when it comes to infantry, it really has shreds them sometimes. Yeah, and the fact that, is that it just displaces those MGs, those AT guns, so, so good. But Panzer IV is now revealed, but you know, Levinus already has that SIS gun. Yeah. Uh, he was very well aware that he was behind the fuel, so he did pick it up. I like Nico here as well, you know, forcing that bloody mortar away. Very nice. Just staying on the aggression. Yeah, about to be a triple capture here from Nico. Actually really uh, big that um, the uh, unit kill difference. Like 43 kills to Love Nest, whereas Nico's got 74. We have a snare here on the T70. I'm not sure if he can punish this somehow. Um, I don't like it. No, but it's gonna force him away for some time for repairs. Machine Slows gun is down, yeah. Machine gun is flanked in the south. Oh yeah, P4 is coming to support it though. But very greedy from Nico, I must say, staying there with the machine gun, but he does retreat, but so does Lovnest. Sis gun is completely out of position for this. Steer could go down here. Oh yeah, uh, seems to be okay. Seems I do like how so, he yeah. comes down to the firing position to try and get a little bit of extra accuracy. And here, complete opposite. Conscripts could go down to G43 Grenadiers as well as the Panzer IV. Very low right now, and they do go down. That's the second wipe for Nikola's game. Yeah. Loveness is bleeding hard. It really is. Yeah, just really strong army composition here from Nico. 18 minutes into the game. Uh, we do finally see tier 4 coming up for Lovnest, however. And, oh, that mine comes into play and the Grenadier goes down. Very good mine placement from earlier. Didn't get sweeped by the uh, engineers all this game. I mean, it's, it's such a safe mine, you know? How is the sweeper going to get that far? It's like once in a lifetime. Yeah. Like, unless you head towards the uh, cutoff from the railway. Mm -hmm. So very nice there from Lovnest, obviously been practicing some retreat paths here from the cutoff, so very nice. 
Yeah, I like it. I mean, the mine is still another mine between the tree and the and the, and the log pile near the cut off. Oh yeah. By the way, what do you think about this decision? Nico went for a, f a, a rebuild of the Grenadier instead of getting the Jaeger Command Squad. That's quite odd, isn't it? I, I don't know why he has done this. Like, unless he, if he goes, he's going for the G43s again. I don't know why he went for this. Yeah, it is a very odd decision for sure. Uh, like, unless you're going for MG42, there's real no reason to replace a Grenadier with it, like, with another Grenadier. No, because you know, the, the J Command Squad comes with the G43s right as well as yeah, the does. ambush. And he also yeah, has the I'll flare, go. you know, it's. Certainly, it's a straight up upgrade. Yeah, T17 trouble here. Siskan getting flanked by the Panzer IV. This is actually huge. How does Lavenus save this? Snare on the P4, but it's not enough. It's not under There's the no threshold. Damage. Yeah, that's a dead uh, Siskan. Yeah, and you know, T7 can't really help out as well. He's uh, one shot away from dying. And Snare here could be sprinting. E34 uh, 76 coming out, but could this be too late? Potentially. I mean, Siskan got completely destroyed, so it's not steel stolen. But you know, Luvnest really hanging on a thread here. Very bad engagements from him, losing that Sis gun and taking a lot of unnecessary damage. He's second guessing himself if he, if he wants to snare that Sis or Panzer IV or not. If we should save the, the munitions, I guess. Yeah, very dominant uh, starting 20 minutes here from Nico. T44 is out yeah. now. Though. We'll see if this uh, 76, T-3476 does anything. And Nico, once again, we've seen this as a pattern in these games, you know? He's going battle phase 3 again this game. Yeah, I mean, not that uncommon, but at the same time, you also usually see a quite a few more Panzer 4s in the, in the map before you see a tier 4. Yeah, it's about the tempo, you know? If you go battle phase 3, you usually lose out on some tempo. But considering he's so dominant in this early game, I, I can kind of see see this being as a very reasonable choice. He's been controlling the fuel throughout all this in series, really, so it's not the worst thing. You can grab a panther, grab a brumbear if he wants it, you know, he's got options in that. Yeah, meanwhile, huge engagement going down in the center. Conscript's getting very low here, could go down. T-34 is supporting. T-70, meanwhile, going for a wipe on the retreating grenadiers. Uh, engineers in center about to go down as well. T70 off in Nico's base here. T34 gets snared. Grenadiers survive, oh, and here oh. comes the Panzer IV on the T70. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, not looking great for Loveness, as we said, even more so now. I mean, we've seen what? Uh, another infantry unit drop. T34 snared at half health. T70 again, got forced back by the P4. You know, so much just happened there, and it's not in any favor to Loveness. Yeah, the company. I think it was only the combat engineer going down there, though, right? The grenadiers survived. The engineer, yeah. And the conscript survived as well. But yeah, definitely not good engagements for uh, for Loveness. Not what he's looking for. And he's down to 140 VPs, but you know he's getting the north. He's prioritizing VPs at this point, just time, trying to buy himself some more time to reach that Soviet late game. I mean, we know. Yeah, as such, we know how good Soviet late game is, but will he get to that late game potential? Second T-34-6 is now coming out. Yeah, we have chat here saying that this time Nico is not saving 600 munitions, but you know, I don't think it's really changed that much so far. I don't think this commander has made any difference, you know? He, he would hasn't used anything other than the G-43s. Yeah, and you know, the G-43s would be LMGs otherwise, so I don't think it's made any difference yeah. yet. Like, so far it's been a bit of a waste, but at the same time it's kind of been dominated the same time, so, you know... Yeah. It doesn't need to utilize anything. He's used the camo on the MG, which I don't know if has really helped it that much, but it's been something. Here we go, though. We see the light artillery barrage used in the center on the guards. Oh, there we go, yeah. But even though they were suppressed, I don't know how he was that fast. You know, he was suppressed here and he just could walk. He's he didn't guard. crawl. He's just eating away from that. Yeah. 
But we have a goal, we have a second T34 from Lovenest. Meanwhile, Nico not choosing any any vehicle yet. And you know, he is floating quite a bit here. Uh, I mean, still keeping the, the map control though in his favor, so who knows? I'd really like uh, Lovenus to get a second engineer back here as well, you know. Uh, get those repairs ready and keep yeah, planting please. those mines. But in the center, we have an engagement going on. Could see, yeah, Mark Vehicle is in place on the plant floor. floor. And T the T4 is missing. Pack setting up. T-34 is in trouble. No tank prioritization, so it's folks shooting the infantry instead. And Panzer Ford just hits Vet 2, so it survives with the bounces there. And, you know, Nico forced away. We see a snare on the T-34, most likely going to kill it. Yes, indeed. Yeah, definitely going to take it out. That's one T-34 down. This could be game. I mean, Lovness buys himself some time by capturing the map here, but, you know, Nico has all the time in the world. 400 VPs. Orange VPs, and he can get Brumbear right now if he wants to. Oh yeah, this could be game. T-34 in trouble. Goes down as well. Uh, they, Loveness yeah. losing both T-34s. This is game. T-70 in danger now. It seems to be stuck as well. What is that? What is this stuff in? I don't think that's a surrender. Could potentially be. Yep, it looks like he's uh, he gave up. Well, uh... GG to uh, Nico, it seems. Yeah. That is game. GG well played to really Nico. Honest, that's like the fourth time I've seen a vehicle get stuck in that corner. I don't know why it is, but every time I'd see a vehicle get stuck around that corner. Yeah, I think the T-70 has got stuck on the uh, T-34 wreck there, though. I don't think it was the corner, precisely. Yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. But, but honestly, yeah, GG to both players. They both played very well, but Nico just that it better. Just better, that's really it. He had the map control for the first two games. Fourth game, map control. Yeah, you know, Nico just playing the early game so strongly here with the, the austere faction. Just being dominant pretty much every game, the first 10 minutes. So yeah, very well played to him, but also Loveness. That game three was a total masterpiece from him. 100%. I'm honestly, what lost him that game was the fact that he kept losing squads and he had to replace them. He oh, kept yeah. quite further behind when he was already behind. Yeah, that first conscript loss, and then you had the second one as well, and the engineer, of course. Yeah, like the, like I said, maybe he thought he was out of he was in the minimum range of the grenades. That's why he just didn't think it would go off. Uh, but the third the third grenade here was just slightly bit behind, ready for that grenade, uh, which was quite nice from Nico. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, amazing play from both players. But watching this series, I think it was uh, quite obvious that Nico was very dominant um, throughout. Oh, yeah. But you know like, the. Yeah. Just watching the game one with the uh, Assault Grenadiers. Assault Grenadiers are a very hard build to play off, and he played very well. So since the start of this, this series, he's been playing you know, on top form. Yeah, but that first game, though, very good game with the SU-76, you know, transition oh, yeah. into Sniper. It was very entertaining to watch that type of... Uh... That was a very good uh, game matchup, though questionable if uh, the SU-76s were the reason why he lost the game. Uh... I think he did very well with them as a whole, but maybe not their best choice.